What's up, everybody? Andrew Mahone here with Natalie Champagne. Going to be streaming some PTCGO tonight. Kind of an impromptu stream here. Uh, I know that the Roanoke, what the Virginia Regional Championships are coming up shortly. But yes. to be honest, I have not done almost any testing for Roanoke myself. Uh, we have been testing standard nonstop preparing for Madison. Madison and Roanoke regionals are like kind of close this year. And since Natalie and I both have our invites already, we decided to forego Virginia. So we're not going to be in Virginia, unfortunately. And we are testing standard right now. So what's up, everybody in the chat? Thank hey. you guys for hanging out. Appreciate it. We're going to be testing some standard tonight. Also, some exciting things. Obviously, uh, most of you guys probably know Mahone's Tricky Gems, now the name of the channel. So super stoked about that. Uh, definitely excited to have uh, that rebranded, which has been a lot of fun so far. I love the artwork that I have up. Christian did an amazing job with that. Uh, music, no, I'm not going to be in Roanoke this weekend. What's up, Cookie? Appreciate the sub. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much for that. And then uh, also, as far as uh, Patreon goals, though, uh, shout out to all the Patreon uh, subs. You guys are incredible. Really appreciate everything you guys are doing. It actually hit my first tier goal uh, at $500. So in celebration of that, I'm going to be giving away a booster box through my Patreon for the month of, what is this, April, May? For the month of May, yes. <laughs> uh, and then also going to be doing an AMA session, stream session this weekend sometime. Also just started a brand new War Turtle oh, yeah. tier on Patreon. So going to be doing exclusive videos every month for that War Turtle tier and also going to be releasing that this weekend as well. So what's up, Dean? Saw me in Toronto. Up, Appreciate it. What's up, Dankus? How we doing? Uh, thank you, everybody in the chat showing up. It's awesome. Awesome stuff here. So we've got some cool stuff going on in standard so far right now. Dude, first of all, no, I want... Don't, don't do it. It's happening. No. <laughs> okay, I've got a brand new deck name, okay? And now I've coined this. It's going to catch on, all right? So you guys know don't do it. the Sam Chen list that won that Brazilian event for... Uh, for Malamar, right? But it had marshmallow and marshmallow. <laughs> it had Marshadow in it, and it's gonna be called Marshmallowmar. Well, Garb fam. It's gonna be Marsh Marshmallowmar. Right? No, it's like marsh. It's, not it's be like that. marshmallow, but it's Marshmallowmar. <laughs> it's Marshmallowmar. How could it not be Marshmallowmar, you guys? I mean, let me know in the chat. Do you guys? <laughs> like... I hate this name. This Natalie, is not a good one. Natalie's not a fan of no, Marshmallowmar. I am a big Marshmallowmar fan. I'm now, not a deck name girl. No, no, no. <laughs> not a fan of deck names. Now I did. Edit up, it is uh, funny, though. I did edit up Sam's list a little bit. I really wanted a Mew in here. I also probably want to jam an Orangaroo in here as well. Uh, but, you know, I mean, obviously, I don't really know if we need these three Max Elixirs, uh, but I don't know about jamming Orangaroo and Pseudo Wudo in no, here. And that's that like stuff. a lot going on here. So let's uh let's get rolling here with some PTCGO games. And uh, yeah, let's let's get let's get going. So you let's see. Dakota says it doesn't get the pseudo wudo. Uh, don't they just return it's... KO with the Mewtwo? No, it's uh, it's for Zoroark. When you use right. Marshadow and you you limit their bench to four, they can't knock you out with a choice band and Raya's beating. So they're they cap out, and then it's it's really good against Zoroark. All right, so gonna be starting out with a Marshadow Malamar hey, or Marsh Malamar deck here oh. for short. <laughs> if you wanted to, Please. if you wanted to shorten it, you could just call it Marsh Malamar if you wanted to. And then, like, you'd be pretty cool. I think you probably all the cool kids probably are going to do that. So here we go, Marsh Malamar. Oh, we got the advantage. I feel like I never get that. So let's see how this deck goes. I played that game with it earlier in the week, and I felt like it just lacked a little bit in the mirror. Uh, we do not play any sort of, we didn't play, uh, Sam's List did not play any sort of non-EX, non-GX attacker. It was just big EXs and you tried to power them up, or GXs, excuse me, tried to power them up as quickly as possible and you weren't always able to do that. Thank uh, asked if we should go to the cup on Monday. Are we going to, a, there's a it's, Monday it's cup. It's ARG, we should go down there and buy some cards. Mm, oh, I could see it. Yeah, okay. probably. I probably won't play, but I'll come hang out. I could see going to the Who's ARG Who's if needs cup. scoops? <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm not. Sounds like some of the lads need scoops. <laughs> I We have a lot of friends who are on the cusp of their invite, so that is definitely something that we could do. I don't know, I feel like now, I feel bad signing up for League Cups now, because I feel like I'm just grinching people out of their points. Uh, unless, of course, I'm scooping to them, so... It's like um, I could pay twenty dollars just to go scoop to my friends, or I could just sit this one out. So I'm probably just gonna sit out and go hang out for fun. Thoughts on the state of expanded? I honestly haven't played expanded since like 
Dallas regionals. Um, I think it's good for the game, but I do think they need to adjust some things. I think that Riley, Z- go to the cup. All right, let's go to the cup. I mean, let's I could go. see Dengis is gonna be there. The whole the whole squad's gonna be there. I think that expanded is just a little bit toxic right now. I think there's way too many broken combos. I think things like Zork is just like ridiculous and i don't know i think there's just way too much busted stuff hex maniac gets us all this with versus seekers just makes it so that you could just pull off so much stuff very very easily we're actually just going to slap both these floatstones down because why not we know buzzwall does not play any sort of field blowers usually so we just have no problems really slapping those down early now i think i want to ultra ball away the floatstone and the malamar here Go get myself another ink. Alex, thank you very much. What did I have Alex to redeem say? those codes. He gave me a bunch of codes oh, on, nice. on Twitch when I was on Riley's stream last week. Awesome. Well, thank you, Alex. Definitely much appreciated. Going to go get an ink here. <laughs> and then I think, what's up, Samuel? Appreciate it. Thank you for coming out. All right. And then I think that we just like this board position here. I actually think I want to just keep the Dawn Wings on the bench, go for maybe yes, a turn two. Okay. And we're going to pass to my opponent. Let's see. Riley says expanded isn't as toxic as people it's not say. That bad. But that's because he loves Zorark. So <laughs> he's like, yeah, it's a great format where our overlord Zorark wins everything. <laughs> where our overlord Zorark is the it's best uh, the best deck in format. It's not that bad. bad. It's not that bad. I do like that some expanded decks are starting to move away from the versus seeker thing. I think that that's super cool. Uh, to see, I mean, I definitely, I like Buzzwool still being good in expanded format for sure. Buzzwool is one of my favorite decks. But I think it's just, uh, to me, I, don't, I think Zorark is just a super degenerate card and allows you to see way too much of your deck in a turn. And, and I think it's just generally bad for the game of Pokemon being able to see, you know, 20 cards in a turn. I think that that's ridiculous, just personally. But, you know, everybody's got their own opinions, so... It seems like that uh, the only time people care about expanded is before a big tournament. Uh, that's probably right. That's probably true. Um, do you think it fulfills the goal that Pokemon Company wants for the format? I'm not sure what they want for the format. Like, I think it's cool. It's like nice to being able to use these, uh, mm. use all the old cards and everything like that. But I, I do think people don't really test for expanded very often. They right. just kind of, you know, roll with whatever. And it's true that expanded is like a lot harder to get into for newer players also. I think I'm just going to go get this Sudowoodo to thin my uh, bench a little my bit. My favorite expanded deck is Donphan. Or thin my deck. I respect that. <laughs> I love Donphan. I don't think, I just, I wouldn't play the deck anymore, but I, I do see people try, trying it still. Right. A, a more power to them. <laughs> but back in 2015, when it was when it was a standard legal deck, yeah, I love that deck. All right, we could do it this turn. We could knock out this Buzzwall. Just do ha- it. Hang on tight, Rip kids. It. Here we go. Oh, we got there. Oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. Max Elixir coming in clutch there. That's actually kind of nice. So I guess the goal of the Max Elixir is that the Max Elixir actually accelerates energy into play. It's like instead of playing a Professor's Letter, which Professor's Letter obviously allows you to go search your deck out for two energies, which you could discard and then accelerate with Malamar, the Max Elixirs just get them into play. So that's like kind of nice. You kind of think of it as kind of a professor's letter there. The, like we got him into play. Now we can use Malamar to recharge up. Yeah, no, I like the Max Elixirs. I think it's fine. It doesn't take away from the deck. No. Um, I think uh, <laughs> I think I liked uh, the, the one comment about it. Oh, Expanded. Um, the last time we really bothered with Expanded was before Dallas, but actually like Riley and, and all of our friends and I, we all had a couple big gatherings and played a lot of Expanded. It was actually really fun then. Right. But, uh, you know, otherwise, um, yeah, it's probably true. We don't really care about expanded that much. Expanded, yeah. it's like it's, I just like kind of know what I'm gonna go with at that point. Right. The way I feel about expanded is that like it's it's not worlds format. Like to me, I spend all year preparing for worlds, right. and I can get my invite without going to expanded events. Really, I mean, I did get a ninth place in an expanded event this year, so like that was pretty cool. But I don't really need to invest into expanded. So being that I have, you know, I'm a teacher, and then I'm also trying to run a YouTube channel, I just have like way too much going on, and I don't want to give you guys like suboptimal expanded content. So I'm not gonna try and say like, yes, I definitely know what I'm talking about when it comes to expanded. Instead, I just definitely definitely know what I'm talking about when it comes to standard and let you guys see all of that here on the channel and during the summer if there were summer expanded events I would have like way more time to delve into expanded and be able to see what's going on with that but let's see for now we I'm sure, I'm sure there'll be a big expanded regional at the beginning of the year that we can like prepare for right 
I think I want to actually knock out the octillery. What do you What do you think here? Yes. I think this thing's like pointless if I just knock it out. I think knocking out the octillery feels good. So let's ultra ball away the N and the max elixir. I don't really need that max elixir. What do you elixir. think the reaction would be if expand with worlds with split format, part expanded, part standard? Uh, I think everybody would hate that. <laughs> regionals used to be for reasoning. Be regionals used to be split format. You used uh -huh. to play standard day one and expanded day two, and it was horrible. I hated it. A lot of people hated it. It was the worst. You play all day, and then you have to go back to your to your hotel room and like change your deck, and then like nobody else knows what you're playing, and nobody you know that that's cool, I guess not. Not knowing what, you know, not everybody not knowing what you're playing anymore, but then you don't know what everybody else is playing. So it's like, it's just, I thought it was silly. I'm glad they changed that. Hey, what's up, Dean? You saw us in Toronto. Uh, we will definitely be at Columbus. We are really yes. looking forward to the North American International Championships. Uh, so definitely stoked on that. We got another room in the red roof. So uh, definitely, <laughs> definitely excited about that. Dude, Red Roof Plus. Up, up earlier, somebody's talking about Huntail Ho Ho. Huntail Ho Ho. I tried Huntail once. Yes, I remember we we tried that eagerly, I and had... then it lost to Volcanion, and then we were done. I couldn't do it once. <laughs> once my Huntail deck could not be Volcanion, I was feeling really bad about it. I know, Jonathan Newton. Finally, another stream. I'm excited to be back streaming again. Had a hectic couple of weeks there, trying to get. Just everything finished up with grad school, trying to get everything finished up. I mean, even just the end of the year now, coming down the wire here, uh, just having a little bit of a hard time getting everything wrapped up just because of the school year. I mean, yeah, I, I teach and I only have two more weeks left of teaching, so things are definitely coming down to the wire. Let's see, what do we uh, what do we got going on here? All right, so my opponent's got a loaded up buzz wall. Um, they are also like, I need to knock out this active buzz. Well, that is not a problem for me what at all. And then I'll go down to two prizes. I have none in my discard okay. right now. I was going to say, if you can like, charge up the Mew. I think um, like charging up the Mew is obviously really good. I probably just Cynthia I here yeah. and just save my or, resources. Yeah, I could have yeah, just yeah. Sycamore, but I want to leave that Necrozma in the deck just in case. Parallel City here is definitely pretty cool. Um, I can, let's see. Hmm. I would sit on that. I'm cool with this hand. I think I want to throw an energy onto my Mew. And you can stretch your back the Necrozma. And, and then knock out the Buzzwolf or game. Or Lele. Or like, I like keeping that. that. Yeah, I think I play the Parallel City, though, just to, why not? Just to thin it out of my deck. No real point in keeping it in my hand here. Definitely going to throw an energy here as well. I could have done something weird where I, like, I don't know. No, that would have been bad. <laughs> Uh, yeah, nope. Here we go. Just get a dark flash. Stay the course. And we should be cool here so long as we can wrap things up with a knockout on that buzz wall. Just going to need to rescue Stetcher or Ultra Ball here for a final Pokemon to take the final knockout with that Mew. Let's see, Dr. TR33, can you check your Twitter DM for my classic deck list, please? Sure, yeah, I will. Uh, really busy lately. Like I said, Dr. Uh, TR, just very, very busy lately. So I don't always get to check. Uh, 2006 real format, yes, All it my is. social media stuff, even though I'd love to. I just get so swamped with things, and just a lot of stuff falls by the wayside. Uh, actually, we decided to stream today because I couldn't get a video out during the day. I tried uploading. uploading. I tried uploading the video last night, and I just woke up this morning, and for some reason, it wasn't uploaded. So that was just a little bit of a bummer, but hey, we got a stream out of it, so that is pretty cool. Can't complain, so... Uh, let's see what we got here. I just need to get myself an attacker to be able to finish this game up. Uh, with Mew, I just need to get literally anything going. So I think I attach this here. Format. And it then is the I think, yeah, I think I attach this here and then we just Cynthia. Yeah. Yep. And uh, see what we can do. It. I can't Lele. Yep. So no. we got a Cynthia. Yep. Let's go. Come on, attacker. Oh, we we're go. good. Good to go. And we're going to finish things off with that Mew. Max Lixer, come on. We'll do it the hard way. There oh. we go. Boom. And then we get to retreat into Mew and use our Dark Flash for game there. Very cool. So this deck definitely does well against Buzzwall decks. I mean, that yes. is a that is kind of no question about it. I love Meta Knight. <laughs> oh, we talking about 06 decks? Yeah. Hi there. Are you Justin or is this somebody else? I feel Who's like Justin, Justin had his own. I, Justin had his own account. I feel like Justin said he was gonna be in the chat, and he's talking oh. about talking about. Uh, oh, talk about Meta Knight. Talking about Meta Knight. So you think it's Justin? It, it might not be Justin. If it's not Justin, I will tell you all about my 2006 oh, collection. Oh, okay. Well, Marsh Malamar had a strong showing there. <laughs> uh, definitely, definitely looks like a good deck. I mean, obviously, figuring out 
how to best compete with Zorark decks is going to be uh, kind of Marshat or Malamar's biggest uh, biggest thing to try and overcome. I want to try. try Sudowoodo again. Yeah, yeah, what the Malamar box or the Sudowoodo? Is that what yeah, you're talking Malamar about? Box, yeah, yeah, I want to try. I want to try Malamar and learn box. Malamar. Now this is another way to take down Zorark decks is that you can play rainbow energy with your Malamars and actually slap the rainbow energies onto pseudo Wudos and then watch and learn. So that is another way to do it. Uh, it's, uh, you know, still in the testing phase. So I'm not exactly sure this deck is, you know, this deck is not Justin. in progress. I think so the deck's pretty work cool. Prog- it is I mean, pretty cool. I think we'll Definitely. Uh, progress around with it. Hi there. Okay, so not Justin. So 2006 decks. Um, oh. We I'm just gonna, got I'm like get them. a bunch of stuff. Natalie's gonna go get them to show them off. Uh, I just spent like all week ordering stuff for ZRE. I didn't know that Zapdos Rayquaza Electrode was a deck. Uh, that Zapdos EX from Fire Red Leaf Green though is probably one of my favorite cards ever printed. I pulled it myself when I was in high school. I didn't play the competitive game back then. But I was really into collecting and had some friends that collected. So we used to just like ride our bikes. Very funny. I'm in like 10th grade, right? So we used to like ride our bikes out to like 7-Eleven. Back then you could buy, uh, what's up, Anthony Morris? (laughs) Uh, Back then you could buy packs of Pokemon cards at 7-Eleven, just a local convenience store. And then, um, you know, we I pulled like the Zapdos EX, Moltres EX, and Articuno EX. And I was really, really excited about that. And, you know, I still have them. I actually sent them all the way to PSA to be graded. So I'm really excited about the returns on those. Kept them nice and in binders like their whole lives. So hopefully their they'll be life. in super, their whole lives. Yes, Natalie, <laughs> from since birth, which was, you know, obviously when they in came the out of the card factory, you know, when they came out of the packs. All right, let's see what we got going Riley, on here. Riley, don't get a hater. All right, so 2006 gonna... decks I got Meta Knight, Needle Queen, Ryegs, Politoed. Show them off. Show, show, show oh, some yes, cards. I can. Uh, I'll, just, I'll show them. Bombtar. This is our box. Boxo Luna cards. Drag Trode, Ludicargo, Mutric, Evolutions, and Andrew's ZRE, which we're trying to make work in 2006, which I think uh, it can. I am just. I just bought almost all the cards for ZRE except for a Rayquaza Star. Rayquaza Star yes. is a little bit pricey. Here, keep this. This. Uh, Are you this showing off Blastoise? Bling <laughs> LVS. Yes. Yes. This is my quick time to show off my 2006 deck. <laughs> all right. There we go. How can you afford all those admins? I bought them all for $5 or less. Yes, we bought them back when they were $5. Yes, I bought them. I have about 15 oh, yeah. admin, and they all costed me very little dollars. Very little yeah, money, very yes. Very little money. We started getting into the old decks back before they got expensive, so that is really exciting. Bombtar is one of the GOAT. All I right. Know. I don't really know which one. Let's see what we got going on here. I think I want to just attach that energy there. Do I have any energy in the discard pile? Just a single boy. That's, That's fine. A pretty good board. And then, yeah, we're just going to pass it here, save the Ultra Ball and the Mysterious Treasure for a couple of the, uh, yeah, a couple of the Malamars here next turn. Oh, we got a Scoop of Rooney. All right. That's so, what I'm talking about. Scoop. See, A. Phillips just got the Sabrina Playmat. Glad you love it. Thank you so much for ordering those. Speaking of Sabrina Playmats, grab one, Natalie. Grab one. I'm getting one. Oh, right? yeah. The Sabrina Playmats are here, and they're in my Etsy store, and I love them. Oh, no. oh yeah. Check star. that out. Beautiful. Andrew love is it. in the market for a Rayquaza Star, if anybody's got one of those. I am looking for a Rayquaza Star, Sean Lydon. Uh, Sean Lydon has one, so we are currently trying to broker a deal, and he's trying to get me to pay a little more than I want to pay. And I'm trying to get him to <laughs> to give it to me for a little less let's than he wants. Zygarde. So we're trying to we're trying to reel and deal. Speaking of Zygarde, let's go Zygarde. All right, go I'll go. Go Zygarde after this. Go go Zygarde. Put me in with Zygarde. All right, put you in with Zygarde. All right, I'll play. play. Buzz Rock. Oh, Nicholas is here. Huh? Nicholas. Is here. Oh, Nicholas. What's up, Nicholas? How you doing? Shout out from uh, from Chile. Awesome. Thank you so much. Play Can better decks. Run? Play Buzz Rock. Uh, I just smoked two Buzz Rock decks, Nicholas. I don't know, man. I mean, Malamar. Definitely seems pretty good against Buzz Rock. So that uh, Midget Ninja, the Misty Mats will be back. So do not, do he not will, fear. The Misty Mats will be back probably within the the last few, uh, the next few weeks. Just uh, need to wait for some, you know, finances to be in order, and then I will place another order for them. So definitely excited about that. Yes, Alex, it is right around there. Yes, That's it about is. what Sean wants for it. I want him to be closer to the two. The two number. <laughs> His is definitely moderately played, though. It's like got silvering all over the edges. I want him to be around two. I love the value EXs and stuff, man. Yes. 
I, uh... I I need a lot of Yastar for my LBS, but the World Championship version, which is what we have in the deck, is like fifty dollars still. So I don't feel that bad about keeping it in there for right. now. Right. It's like still kind of an expensive. Didn't card. you just find it? You yes, found. We yes. Located it. Oh my gosh! Why is this my life right now? The people. <laughs> this is, look at this hand. <laughs> look at this hand. That's this awesome. is so bad. Oh I love no! That hand. And I'm facing against people. You don't love this hand. This <laughs> hand is really that. bad. That's a great hand. Oh my gosh, this is insane. You're gonna rip you're gonna rip a Cynthia or something. Yeah, some of these fine. Pokemon stars are really, really expensive. And, oh we Anthony are Morris! Saved. Andrew and I love Rayquaza Embor. Remember Raybor, man. Uh, Professor Tupelo, you would be excited to know that I spent all afternoon signing all three hundred Darium's playmats that uh, we did for the limited edition Darium's Playmats. So for anybody who ordered the limited edition signed Darium's Playmats, Mikey and I just signed them. Dan is visiting town man. this weekend. So Dan is going to be <coughs> signing them this weekend. Broken. Uh, are you talking about broken? Do you think we're going to get a turn one people? You're just, no. Or a turn, <laughs> turn one, one people. A turn one, <laughs> yeah, knockout on the people. Yes. I think we're going to get a turn one knockout on the people. I think we're going to get a turn one verdict GX. That's what I think. <laughs> Uh, let's, uh, let's just go ham bone. Yeah. yeah. Uh, ham bone. I don't even think Here you, we go. You ham ultra, bone. You might want to ultra ham ball bone. first. Ham bone. I'm not ultra balling these. Because you can, you can charge them up with the cell connector. Uh, you're right, but I'm just gonna, you're right. But if you right. cell connect, you can cell connect it, I think, for knockout with a Diane Fine, play. fine, fine. All right, fine. Yeah. But then, so we're gonna ultra Dan ball Dan moved those. to California. Dan moved to California. He's no longer with us here, you know. In, he's alive. He's, he's alive. Not, he's, he's just not, not in Ohio. He's, he's just not in Ohio. Uh, let's get ourselves a rock or rough. All right. I like that. Let's get a rock rough out here. And then we'll hit another max elixir. And then we're going to Cynthia and hit Bloatstone DCE. Yeah. Come Anthony Raymore was the deck I let's made go, my let's first let's go, let's top go. eight at a big tournament with. Boo. Two DCEs, but no. It's fine. You're going to get the, this. This is totally just, appropriate. Just Bloatstone energy. Uh, yep, no. nope, nope. Whee! We're going to be waiting another turn here. That is totally fine. Brooklet Hill. So let's play that young Brooklet Hill here. Get ourselves, what do you think? Like a Regirock? Probably the Regirock allows us to hit 190, which is good, right? 150, 180, 200. No, it allows us to hit like 210. And people's got like a ton of hit, po hit points. So yeah, we're going to get the Regirock here. I think that seems pretty good. And the uh, Lycanroc stuff is actually all really good as well against this deck. So I think I actually want to go in and attach my second energy here to the Rock Rough. Yeah, that That's cool. Good. And then, so next turn we have some options here. We could either go with the Dangerous Rogue GX. And what I love about this deck uh, with the Lycanrocs in it is that we can go uh, Dangerous Rogue GX and then follow it up with some verdict gx's so i if so long as we get bonnie we have to find bonnie though and fortunately this ultra beast deck is going to play plenty of stadiums so we shouldn't have any trouble finding the stadiums there for uh you know for that bonnie here let's see christian says andrew one of my coworkers gave me his entire base at jungle deck collection i started to make a haymaker deck that's awesome christian i'm really excited he's got the rock rough he went ahead he got it he got me there that's that's really unfortunate Bird, yes. i feel like uh i gotta just promote the zygarde yeah. here now maybe i should have just not been greedy attached this on for n and then tried to do what can i do 210 i think i can 180 yeah i could have actually hit 210 so maybe that was a little bit Put something Bad. up and see if you can rip a floatstone. Let's see. You think I floatstone max elixir? That's like a lot to that ask, I think. I think uh, much, let's uh, doing? Uh, let's go for it. Let's go for it. Yeah, we're going to promote the Reggie Rock. Sure. Oh, I don't know about that. I'm doing it, Natalie. Here we go. Okay, I don't really know about oh, that. Oh, there's Bonnie. Didn't need her yet. Okay, here we go. Brooklyn Hill. Sequencing. Let's get ourselves another Zygarde. We are going to Madison. And then let's end. Sure. I don't know how many Floatstone I play in here. That would have educated my decision onto what I did there. I think there's uh, oops. Looks like we got ourselves a little locked up. So that's a, that is fine, though. This is not a big deal. Because ultimately, I want to, yeah, I want to just get into the active position next turn. So let's just attach this fighting energy here. And then, yeah, we're just going to Abyssal for one. I think it's a floatstone. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, no, it was not. All right, pass. Let's see. Why are Deoxys packs so much? I don't know. A lot of old packs are uh, are worth quite a bit. And Professor Tupelo, I am going to Madison. Natalie and I are definitely both going to be there. Uh, we'll definitely get a game in with Buzzrock tonight, so don't worry about that. And potentially Tapu Bulu. I could say I could see Bulu. So what do you think about Bulu, Natalie, in the current? Metagame. I feel like it's lost a lot of its merit now that 
Z- Zorog decks might see a decline. Now that what? Zorog decks are seeing a decline. Are they really? I feel like they are. The what? Malamar, that Malamar version is supposed to beat Buzzwall, and then so is and that Earth supposed to beat Zorok and then Buzzwall. Mm-hmm. Um, Caleb, I will check that out soon. Thank you. Um, I think uh, I don't know. It could be still good. Bulu, I guess Bulu like can it beats Buzzrock. Fair, pretty good be, against Buzzrock. It could beat Buzzrock. If yeah. but I feel like with B string now it's a lot. It's a lot worse. Oh, definitely. Yeah. yeah. I mean, B string is really good for Buzzrock because you can just go ham, and if you you can actually trade with Bulus with Buzzrock now. You didn't used to be able to do that. Um, let's see. What is my opponent Guzman now? They're gonna hit this Zygarde probably. The Zygarde that has the. Uh, yeah, has the two energy on it. That's probably the play. I would have been much better off. Oh, they're knocking out the Diancie. This is horrible for me. That was my key to this matchup. I think uh-huh. had I not, had I just like gone in and attached that second energy to the Zygarde turn one, I think I got a little bit too greedy there and just try. Oh, they did not knock out the Diancie. Please, 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 please let me find a float stone here. Oh my goodness. What is it going to take? What you do it. is it going to take? Brooklyn Hill, look how many are in your deck. Oh, you can't Brooklyn Hill. I can't Brooklyn Hill. Yeah. Yep. Let's just see. Come on. Please give me that float stone. Let's go. There's Let's like go float stone. Deck. Come on. Come on. We need three. We have three. Oh, we just. <laughs> oh, my Yikes. gosh. This is so bad. There are three float stones in this deck. How did this happen? Oh, my goodness. This is brutal. My opponent is going to get to two hit KO this Diancy. Meanwhile, I am just going to be stuck doing uh, 190 to the Naginado. Now, I do have a backup plan for when this happens. I have Tapu Kokos in the deck. We can make it happen. Uh, you changed your verdict on this deck to being bad. I don't know. Uh, oh, no. They're about to slice my TCE. <laughs> Stop No. That. No. Don't do me like that. Uh, no, no, no. See, they will never be able to. Let's see. What if I just like Verdict GX a bunch of people? Um, you know, a bunch of people for like, you know, just short of knockout. And then uh, still no floatstone. Maybe I'd like prized a bunch of floatstone this game. Or maybe build I should have. I, I know our, our in person list has three. I, oh, this definitely has three in it. It just is a little bit, a uh, little bit sketchy. All right. Let's see. We're going to throw the Coco down. The Coco is actually really good here. We're also going to try and hit this max elixir. I think, yikes, I need to get rid of a Bonnie here, but I don't think I've gotten rid of any Bonnies yet. So I think I'm going to Ultra Ball maybe for the Zygarde first. Then what? Do we want to just bring up this Duskmane and knock it out? Yeah. Probably if I can. We'll probably want to hit into the Duskmane. Yeah. I mean, we'll we'll do it because I'm not going to hit this Naginata for knockout. So let's just do that. We're going to Ultra Ball away the Sycamore and the Bonnie. Go for the Lycanroc. Then let's see. What do we got in deck? We got... Three floatstones in deck. Oh, buddy, oh, they're they're there. Yep. So let's try to do that, and then let's see. Uh, let's see. We're gonna try Max Elixir, and let's see. I'm getting a question in the comment. Can I please put the deck list in the description? I tried to. I've just been very extraordinarily busy lately, and like I tried doing it for a little bit, and just did not. Oh boy. Yeah. So that's not good. I probably shouldn't have. I think I was a little greedy there. Yeah, that's fine. I think I'd play Rescue Stretcher or something, or Super Rod, I think. So I think I actually want to just save this. No, no, I think I want to bring, yeah, let's bring this. Let's bring up the Dust Main. Sure, yep, I'm going to bring up the Dust Main here. I kind of wanted like a Max Elixir. That is like a little greedy of me, though. Let's Ultra Ball these away. Do I have a Super Rod in deck or something like that? No, no, we have no Super Rod of of sorts. Yep, that's fine. We're just going to go grab probably the Octillery. We're not setting up a second Octillery here. Nope. So we're just going to more of this thing and go from there. But, yes, uh, believe it or not, I actually just uh, I do all my uploading at – oh, my goodness. Guys, this is a little bit rough. <laughs> this is a little bit rough. Okay. So I think we here just have to finally sell connector. I probably, like, played myself into a corner this game. And should not have, that's fine. I should not have uh, just gone in with that original fighting energy on the on the rock rough. Like it city, seemed though. good. I mean, I'm definitely just whiffing like a ton. But um, 
you know, I think like I can probably point to like the whole deck kind of falling apart right there. And then I could have just started verdict GXing like, you know, turn after turn had I just done that. But I wanted the early like a rock GX. I just thought that that would be pretty good. But oh, well, it, it's fine. There we are. We've got our four energy on the Zygarde. That means that I can actually slap an energy onto my like a rock next turn if we manually attach. And potentially, you know, if my opponent can't find a way to knock this thing out, which they shouldn't be able to find a way to knock this thing out, unless they like max elixir and attach to the dark dusk main here, then it would not be a problem at all. Let's see, do you think Victini Prism? I, I Jonathan, don't to be honest, I don't even know what Victini. Tell me about Victini Prism. I don't really know what it does. I have not looked yet. Uh, so he pulled a Rainbow Rare Raichu. That's awesome, Melanie. That is super cool. Definitely a sweet looking card. Uh, let's see. Keegan's asking, have we tested what? I don't know what you're asking if we've tested. I don't know. If he's uh, or not. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Been testing this archetype for two weeks now. We've had good success versus tier one lists. Okay. Cool stuff. Let's see, now we've got like a handful of float stones. So we've got like float stones on deck now. So that's pretty cool. think that I will just slap those both down here. And then I don't need to Bonnie yet. I could just Cynthia. That's probably the maneuver because I want to get an <laughs> I want to get an energy just down onto this Lycan Rock GX here for sure. Uh, that's that's better, I guess. And then I need to save my own stadiums here. So oh, let's some... just uh, let's see. Let's just verdict GX. Yep, that's fine. Verdict GX, and we're just gonna try to keep doing that. Actually, yeah, I can only like claw slash with this Lycan Rock. I don't know what I was Beast thinking. Box. I can't like. Yeah, I can't Bonnie and then attack with a like a rock. I don't know. I no. don't know. That's fine. The you know the thing can hit the Naginate Elf for knockout. Can hit that for like, knockout as well. Definitely so. beats like Fuzzwool, but I think it does. Can, it really has a hard time with the Malamar decks. So, uh, yeah. So I just don't think it's very viable depending on the meta. Like especially when we're going into a regional where uh, Malamar is very hyped. I think it wouldn't be a great idea. Yeah, I'm not the biggest Beast Box fan. I just I think that. The deck, yeah, it's very good against Buzzwool. I'm not sure that it's super good against, uh, we blade GXing. Oh boy, just taking a prize. All right. Blade, so I love the Cartana. the blade GX going on there. I now have to find a Bonnie awkwardly. Like I had a bunch of Bonnies before. I don't know if I would have. And now I've got none. So this thing's got 160 on it. I would need a choice band in order to get like a nice Tapu Coco play this turn. Riley, I'm convinced it's not even but, a real deck that you're working on. Let's see here. I think that we have to, um, yeah. I ugh, we could Bonnie if we Bonnie. We're not even knocking this thing out. We're doing like one sixty. I would need a choice band as well. That's just like super rough. I think I put the DC here though. That feels fine. Don't sycamore, you're gonna deck. I cannot sycamore. I see that. Yep. I don't want to place the stadium yet. If I had one. <laughs> if I had one, um, we're gonna put this. here. Here, actually, yeah, here, that's fine. And then let's just, uh, yeah, let's just uh, check Ultra Space real quick, see what we got going on in the deck. Two we got Bonnie. two Choice Bands and two Bonnie. Okay. Right, so we just want the Bonnie here but and the Choice Band. We want the Bonnie and the Choice Band, but I only have a few the stadiums Bonnie left. The Bonnie would be good. The Bonnie's better than Bonnie's that. Bonnie's good. No, you're right. I just need Bonnie. So I can't really play the Brooklyn Hill. I just need to rip the Bonnie. Why so not let's go. The uh, because that's my only stadium, and Bonnie discards stadiums. Yeah, how many stadiums they got down? And they probably won't play another one down. They, one yeah, probably not. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go, Bonnie, 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 Bonnie. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No. All right, so here we go. Now we're gonna Guzma out the Dusk main, knock it out. Can we do that? We do 110, 120. No, we're 10 short. That's fine, because then we stop them from being able to use Beast Ring. They would have to attach, discard. No, they would discard, and then I bring up Tapu Coco. That's bad. Oh, what's up, Ruben? Thank you for the donation. Appreciate it very, very much. We cannot GX here. We have to knock something out. I feel like we have to go. Let's just knock out this uh, Naganado here with Why my... Um, sure, I guess I'm knocking it out with my other Lycan Rock. Ugh, that just feels bad. But I probably should have knocked it out with the Zygarde here and the Cell Connector. But, oh, well, here we are. So let's knock this thing out. And then, I don't know, my opponent's probably just going to be able to just... Uh, blow this thing up with the Zygarde here. Or not the Zygarde, the uh, the Duskmane. 
and then it's going to be all downhill from there. So that's just a little bit rough, but it's fine. It's, we're out here with Zygarde doing our thing. You know what? Got to give Zygarde his time. Dankus, you think Zygarde is bad? Zygarde Dankus loves Metagross, so hey, he has no room to talk. Yeah, Dankus, listen, man. Zygarde, he is like the man. Look at him. He's pretty cool. He is a cool guy. He's got 200 hit points. That's a lot of hit points for a basic Pokemon He's just here to... to Lance he's, just, he's just trying he lands to lands wrath all the time, bro. He's, he's got just so trying many to party. Attacks. Oh, look at that nice secret rare beast ring. Might be better. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know. I think I feel like maybe I'm just. Oh, what's up? Thank you, Josh. Appreciate it. Uh, appreciate the donation. Thank you so much. You're hosting your first league challenge this weekend. 90% of your players are running lists for your videos. Thank you so much, Josh. It actually uh, means a lot to hear that. So I really, really appreciate the encouragement, man. And good luck with your league challenge this weekend. It sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun. Meanwhile, here in the active, looks like this Duskmane's getting ready to blow this Lycanroc to smithereens. So that is what we got going on there. Only got six cards left in deck. I mean, so long as my opponent can get a Guzma. The unfortunate thing, we cannot actually... Uh, oh boy, that's not good. This can Dusk Shot. Oh, and we'll be able to Rusty Claws. Rusty Claws! Don't Rusty Claws me. <laughs> don't Rusty Claws me, bro. Uh, I, don't, I don't like that. No, this is bad. Oh no, <laughs> he's claws. gonna Rusty Claws me. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. All right, guys. Well, you know... Do you want to play? Did you say you wanted to play Zygarde? I'll put me in. I'll try again. You try them. Zygarde? Yeah. I think you could probably do it better than me. Just put your energies on Zygarde. Don't even worry about the Lego Rock. <laughs> just just put your energy straight to Zygarde and then just, just start going, going ham. I'll figure it out. I'm sure you will figure it out. Um, let's Pig see. Pig the claws. claws. All right. So here we go here. There's nothing I could do. This thing is going to, it does dust shot. 60 damage to one of my opponent's Pokemon EX uh -oh. or GX. That's so good. I feel like, uh, what, we go in here, yep, and then we play Max Elixir, sure. Uh, nope, all right, that's fine. I don't think you have one of those. And then like, what? Last no, one. yeah, yeah, I, don't, I do not have it. So I could uh, at least want to pull off the Bonnie play, but I don't want to play this Brooklyn Hill down. But, I mean, let's, uh, yeah, let's go. This is what we got. So here we go. We're going to Abyssal for two. Can we get Bonnie? Can we at least Bonnie? At least, like, make this a game. We do have Bonnie. All right. Nice. So let's Bonnie here. Discard the stadium. Sweet. And we are going to Verdict GX um, again. So at least we got to do that. Riley, actually, Verdict. he's um about to take another two prizes. I know. Because uh, here he goes. So I, I don't know if you've checked your eyes recently, but that's what he's doing. <laughs> Jonathan, I need to be caught up on the new cards being leaked. We You're never check right. Cards. I know. I'm just like super hyper focused on Madison right now, trying to figure out a good deck for Madison. This thing's about to rusty claws me. If your opponent has exactly one prize card remaining, the tech does 100 more damage. Fortunately uh, for my opponent, they don't need to do too much. How is our rock They just do 100, good. and it's uh, it's toast. Rock climbing is going really well. We just we were there earlier. We were there earlier. You can see like uh, my hands are super beat up. So mine are a little red too. Natalie is getting so much better. She has done three yellow problems now. <laughs> three yellow are the second, uh, the second step up for a beginner. So that's very good. There are even some yellow problems that I cannot do. Yes, but not the ones that I was doing. Yes, so. <laughs> but that's fine. So there are like uh, ratings based on color. So like you go all the way up. Uh, I do like most of the yellows, and then I can do some pinks, which is the step after yellow. And I got my first purple, so that's like the step above pink so i'm really stoked about that what's up tanish all, all right put me in i'm gonna play Natalie, Zygarde. here go ahead here i don't actually think we need to switch you uh, could just probably I play from probably there reach from yeah you can yeah. definitely just reach from there okay. so you need a rock climbing vlog that'd be fun we it could, would be pretty we fun. could probably do that sometime i mean i don't know you guys interested in that lifestyle stuff or you just like seeing me play pokemon i don't know <laughs> uh we could uh you know i could just bring my camera everywhere greetings from india what's up tanish how goes it in india and what time is it in India right now? Very curious. Tanish is my best, uh, my best fan from India. So shout out to Tanish. Appreciate it. Also, your just dog does not <laughs> say that, Dankus. You're lying. What does his dog, his dog say? His dog says, "What's up, my homies." His dog's not saying that. Andrew Dankus, your dog says, "What's up, my homies?" Why would your dog say that? Your dog can't talk. <laughs> so stop We're playing first. with me. Pretty, pretty Seven a.m. Tanish, bright and early. What do you got going on today, Tanish? What's on the agenda? Is it Friday or is it Thursday? Skate park vlog. Skate park vlog. I actually brought my uh, I brought my skateboard to school today to see if any of my kids could ride it. And uh, one of my kids was actually not bad. I mean, he could push the board around and not fall. A couple of my kids looked like they were about to just like 
wipeout. And I was like, oh boy, yeah, you guys got to get off the board, off the board. I'm not getting uh, not getting into any trouble today. <laughs> nice, Tanish. Mm-hmm. Going to school. That's what's up. Stay in school. School's good for you. I think, wait, Ultra Ball away the, the, the stretcher, and, stretcher the and, the, and the fighting energy. Fighting energy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's like a cell connector. Yeah, yeah cell connector, like I should have done. All right, yes. Cell <laughs> connector. All right. And then, Lele. yeah, Lele. Uh, Dylan, I teach special education and I teach at a school right now. I teach at a school for, uh, kids that are kind of like, <laughs> you don't have kids. What are you talking about? I don't have <laughs> yeah. kids. No, I call them my kids. Uh, I call my kids students. at school, my students. I call my students, my kids. They are not. Um, all right. Later, that. Tanisha, have fun at school. Um, but <clears throat> I've got two Bonnie left. I think I've got Guzma. Guzma. Just get him into the active. Is it your first turn? What's your opponent got going turn. on? Are you going first? Yes. Guzma. I don't have another supporter. Oh yeah, yeah. No, you need to no, get a, you no, need no, to no. get a draw supporter. I'm gonna get Cynthia. I <laughs> That's wanna, fine. Yeah, yeah. Get the I Cynthia. I want to save the Bonnie. Save the Bonnie for sure. But yeah, so I, I work with kids that have like you know behavioral issues. Like they might have been expelled or things Sick. like that. Nice. <clears throat> they might have been expelled or something. Uh, a lot of my kids like you know go to juvenile detention or things like that or just come out of juvenile detention. So uh, go for one. it. Turn one, turn one, turn one. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Busted. Going to get a turn two Verdict GX. If we could ever find something to retreat. Hold on to this. I'm just going to yeah. use the DC next turn if I got to. You're right. I'm going to hold on to all this. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Have you all separated ways from Dariums? No. No. I actually got a video going out for Dariums tomorrow. So nope. This channel is actually still owned by Dariums, but I'm going to be purchasing Mahone's Tricky Gym off of Darium. Uh soon like within the next few months or whatever so yeah. we're like working that out right now but it's a little more complicated than just handing it off a like baby so we need to do some business transactions in order to get that going and then obviously i still uh i still work for darium so i still work on the main channel as well and i'm still trying to develop a toy channel for darium I, so i got a lot going on i think it's a glitch i'm seeing random people <clears> with, <throat> with it, moderator tags and then like when you said that topher you didn't have one but now you do oh, i think it's yeah. just random i think it's a glitch Oh wow! He smacked me. How is everybody? How is everybody a mod right now? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Oh boy! Looks We're, like we uh, need a verdict. Yeah. What, how much does verdict do? One fifty. Oh yeah, it's knocking that boy. Oh, out. straight out. Yeah, yeah. you're fine. Show I cards. think. Yeah. I get a, get a rock, rock ruff. Oh yeah, get a rock ruff. Slap down that Zagardi. How did you get? Oh, he Guzmaned him up. Yeah, he brought For him. sure. Choice Bando, the active, and then Yak. I got yak. I don't know. What else do I need? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, what you're else fine. do I need? I you think don't... I sit on that. You're fine. Yeah. Um, no, I no, I yak, yak so that you can verdict again. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, here you go. You have one more like a rocket deck. You're fine. Yeah, oh, there's the Bonnie. Right. <clears throat> oh, Max Elixir. Max Elixir. Oh. oh, they scooped. They were scared. They were scared, they bro. Were really I was about scared. to go in. They were All right, scared. see, I told you Zygarde could win a game. You're definitely right. Uh, let's see. Lightning Royale loves. says he loves me. Can I say it back? Oh, thanks, Lightning Royale. Uh, man, I think, I don't know. Maybe we're just, like, better off as friends, though. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm moving a little too quick. <clears throat> I don't know. Moving a little fast. I'm, a, I'm kind of more of a slow, I'm more of a, you know, <laughs> slow-paced kind of guy. <laughs> I'm playing Greninja. Um. The GX one. Greninja GX. Oh, yeah! Yeah, see, what? look what happens when a good player uses Zygarde, says Riley. Oh, I my mean, gosh. I do a better regionals finish than Andrew this year. We just let everybody, everybody <clears throat> needs to know that. Uh, <clears throat> you know, just let yeah. you know. Wow, I remember the first time I got second at a regional. <laughs> Very good. Uh, did I start playing Fortnite yet? No, I don't. Uh, I don't play Fortnite. I don't have time, man. I don't even have time to put my lists in my description of my video. <laughs> Honestly, like if I had, it, it's true. It literally just comes down to if I have time. My nights usually look like this. I teach in the morning. I have to be at school at eight a.m. So that means that I should usually be in bed by midnight. But a lot of times I'm up till like twelve thirty or one a.m just getting my videos finished and edited. And then <clears throat> I start uh, processing the video by the time I go to bed, wake up, videos processed, then I start uploading the video to the channel, drive to work, the video is usually uploaded by the time I drive to work, and then I just have to like ham out the thumbnail and all the description in the video during homeroom while the kids are in homeroom. So yes, usually I don't actually have time to put the, de the descriptions into the video since usually the video is not even being uploaded until, I think you, you need to 
Do we have a Lele? No. Nope. No, he's prized. Get the, you got to get the Octillery. Uh, I don't have, I already booked a hill for that. I'm just going to hold on to my hand right now and then get one out next turn for the Octillery. Uh, okay, that's fine. I, I already booked a hill. I already yeah, yeah. booked a hill. I can't change it. Yeah, yeah, you're cool. Yeah, just slap that down. Yeah, and then you I, get Ultra Ball for the. That's what yeah, I yeah. said. Yeah. You're Gucci. You're right. You're 100% correct. I'll uh, hold on to that. Enhanced yeah, you hammer. know, they might play Enhanced Hammer. Gucci Gang. Salutes from Mexico. What's up, Victor? Thank you for the shout out from Mexico. See, Jonathan would love to talk to me on Twitter, but my parents won't let you have Twitter. Sorry, Jonathan. Man, yeah, Twitter is the spot, definitely. Oh, Tails. Woo! We're about to go to... That's the best. We're about oh. to go to Flip Town. Oh, that sucks. Oh, uh, it's sorry. fine. You play two copies of Rescue Stretcher. You're Gucci. That's fine. And then also you can Brooklet. It's Gucci. You can Brooklet for, I don't know, maybe something else. It looks like you're actually out of uh, Froakies, maybe. Oh, really? <clears throat> no, no, there's two left. Okay, I was going to say, I didn't see them in the last search, so... Yeah. Evolve Town. Let's see. It's not Gucci. It's Grucci. What is Grucci? I'm not familiar with Grucci. A schmissel hand. Am I, uh, am I just... Oh, no. He's angry. He's angry. I'm sorry, man. Oh, yes. We've got the juice. All, All right. right. Um, yeah. Stretch your, I'm just going to stretch your both back into the deck. I don't I think like I want to... I don't think yeah, I... Yeah, definitely both back into the deck. That's good. Or I could just or, take the, group, the Frogadier. I actually like the Frogadier. Go get the Frogadier. Yeah, I'll take the Frogadier. Yeah, because then you're you're on your way to a Greninja, and that's really good and aggressive, and you want to get as many evolutions. I'm going to knock out that Staryu. <clears throat> oh, knock out the Staryu. Busted. Yeah, that's really good. Woo. Really good. Really good. And then what do you think? You throw that second Coco down? Mm. Uh, and you're eventually probably going to want to since you're going to be uh, Abyssal Handing let's, as well. Let's do it. I mean, I, I think like Let's this is it. fine. Let's flying if flip. your opponent ends you, then it's like less Let's cards to draw flip. into. Let's just flip around. All oh, right, here yeah. We go. Here we go. Lightning Another Morale, one. you've been watching me for over a year. Me Sorry, too. Lightning Morale. I don't think that's actually possible considering. It's been almost a year. Yeah, but uh, it started in uh, maybe July. You, maybe it started in July. Main channel? I guess How long uh, have you been on the main channel? I've been YouTubing for a year. So uh, I think you've probably been watching me for about a year. If you started watching Darium's he Competitive, ends me. When I started this as Darium's Competitive, I started that in July, right after the North American International Championships. You guys might remember that uh, Darium's like interviewed me right after I got seventh place at the North American International Championships. So that was sweet. Oh, yeah. Dude, slap that water on the... Oh, yeah. There you go. Secret rare water energy. Busted. And I'm then the uh, Brooklyn first. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right. Do the Brooklyn first. There we go. Get another frog Forever. out into play. Uh, let's see. I think the best deck in format is Buzzwell Lycanroc. Zach, that is definitely, uh, you know, definitely a pretty valid op opinion. Uh, let's see, we can stretcher, I'll do a little water energy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. I think the stretcher's probably Stretcher fine. can go, yeah. You're probably fine on that. You need to just kind of go ham here. I think I get a uh, no Frogadier or think, uh, Let's see, look at your hand real quick, or look at the mat. Let's see, so if you do, yeah, get the Greninja, then you can knock out the Frogadier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. And then you might actually draw into it. Also, you can scoop up that Greninja, lay I'm, it back I'm down. I'm going to play it and then... Pro well, I, I did attach it this turn, but that's okay. I can you can just aqua patch, so. and you're fine. Yep. So I, I need think... to start putting as much damage on the board as possible. Oh, for sure. It's going to shadow stitch you. That's so. going to be super annoying. Hello, come back to me. Oh, Thank there you. he goes. Bring him Return. back. Bring him back. Sick. So I think you just aqua patch onto one of those bench frog... You know, the one that you're about to evolve right. here. Um... I Good can stuff. knock it out and not activate splash energy. Uh, oh, I like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Get it out of here. Yeah. Make him stretcher it. Cool yeah. stuff. And then your opponent's going to put up a fresh one. Oh, oh, we got another scoop. Another scoop, man. That's cool. You're probably getting shadow stitched. I should probably just do it. Oh, aqua patch. Uh, you should what? Uh, should I should just try to scoop? I'm Did you get... just put this down this turn? I think mm, you did, right? I think I yeah, yeah I broke one before it, so I can't. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. I'll just hold on to it then. Aqua patch. I would aqua patch, so yeah, I like oh, that. Oh, definitely. Cool stuff, and then flying flip. That's awesome. Flying flip in this matchup. Oh, thanks, Lion Twitty. Appreciate it. Uh, minor thing in your intro. Why do you say welcome to Tricky Gym and not to the Tricky Gym? I don't know. Uh, do you think it should be the Tricky Gym or welcome to Tricky Gym? I don't know. I think Tricky Gym sounds fine. Uh, welcome to the Tricky Gym. I think I just like Tricky Gym better. Welcome to Tricky Gym. Um, I don't know. I think, like, because imagine this. So if you were a gym trainer in Cerulean City and you would say, welcome to the Cerulean City Gym, or welcome to Cerulean City Gym. I feel like just Cerulean City there Gym. There are two Latios or sounds one? Sounds better in my opinion. There's one, one Latios in here, 
And there are two Tapu Coco. Am I going to make a Brock play mat? Marco, I actually really want to make a Brock play mat. I want to make a Brock play mat where he's like rock climbing or something. He's got like Geodudes floating around, maybe an Onyx in the background, something like that. I uh, would really like a Brock play mat. I'm not sure if it'll, uh, if it'll be as popular as I want no. it to be because I really like it. But it definitely could. Oh, yeah. And then here you just go Ham Greninja. Sick. You yeah. don't, and you don't have to shuffle them in. You just, uh, yep. Yeah, yeah. And then you just haze slash. And you don't have to snipe anything on the bench. And you just, re oh, yeah. And then you could evolve up. I think I would just evolve up the bench gonna, one. I think. And then that way, like, you attach water next turn. And then when it starts to get to the point where he's, like, knocking it out, then you might be able to scoop it up and then just start right. attacking with that second one. Captain, you would like the Brock playmat. How many of you guys would like a Brock playmat? I think I think Brock playmat would be super sweet. Brock has like to be he's shirtless, like, it's only fair. Have to be. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Brock definitely would be shirtless and with tattoos. <laughs> so, Brock is best, babe. <laughs> what kind of tattoos do you think Brock would have? Uh, Brock would have Pokemon tattoos, just like everyone else. <laughs> I meant like what kind of Pokemon? I want if he. Okay, please, can you put a fortress on him? He's got a fortress. I think, Does he have in a the fortress? Show, and fortress is really cool. Oh, Riley wants a playmat with my face on it. That's cute, Riley. Thank you. Nice, dude. We got a lot of Brock Playmat fans. All right, so maybe Brock Playmat's my next idea. I also have an idea for Lizbeth wants a Brock Playmat. Yeah, definitely definitely Brock is on my list of to-dos. I also want to do an Officer Jenny Playmat, but I think uh, an Officer Jenner, Jenny and maybe, like, because with, like, a Growlithe or something, I think would be awesome. Blame Playmat with Charizard, that'd be pretty sick. I am, like, super into Charizards right now. Brock would have a tattoo of himself. No, he'd have a tattoo of Nurse of Joy. Or Nurse of Joy. Fortress. No, Nurse Joy. <laughs> or he'd have a pro he'd have a tattoo of uh, uh Oh of, not my uh, artillery. Officer leave that Jenny. leave him alone. Oh the artillery's going down. Yeah, bro. Oh for sure. That's bad. Your opponent I'm, does not want you to have that artillery. I'm 20 minutes short. I feel like you just GX the bench. Yeah. Oh, GX that bench guy. Yeah, get him and out of here. And then I think I flying flip after that. And, and then shuffle him in after that. Because uh, how much damage is he going to do I can hit here? him and shuffle him in now and shadow then shadow stitch. stitch. Or no, I can't because Shadowy Hunter does 130. It's the 130, yeah. I think I GX here, in GX my opinion. GX and knock out the bench. The bench Greninja, I think. I think. I don't know. You have two left. That or you... GX and the, yeah. That, I, I think I like that. I don't know if I attach the second DC. You could attach the DC to the Frogadier. That, like, leaves you into some, like, a little bit of sketchy territory, though. He can't really knock it out, though. He could right. He could shuriken it, but then but I But will he enhance hammer it? I mean, if he has another enhance hammer, fine. But we don't have a lot of energy, and I can't draw, so I feel like I need to throw it down. Right. He does have one. He already played one. Okay. So, yeah, throw it down. Right. Yeah. And then you're going to end. Do you think you scoop up, like, the Octillery? Yeah, I think. And then, like, maybe lay it back down. Or maybe you scoop no, up the if I, Coco. If I scoop up the Remory, he just giant yeah, water Yeah, yeah. So what about the Coco? To just... I mean, it's not in range of knockout right now. It would take two Shurikens. Hold, hold it. Hold it for something better. Yeah. A Mallow play, Matt. I, that could be pretty cool. Let's see. What do we got here? I think you evolved the Frogadier again. Like, he's not going to yeah. break the lock, right? No, he shouldn't. It, he shouldn't. I think if he mistake. does, you're, like, in. I so. that would be a mistake for sure. You think you Hunter? Yeah, I'm going to hunt down that... I, I don't think he's going to be able... He can't get knockout on it next turn. I don't think so. So you save it for sure. Hope you draw a supporter here. See no! What's up. Oh, not a Lele. What's up? Sorry. I'll be at Internet's. Haven't seen you both since Charlotte. What's up, Paul? Thank you. Appreciate it. Johnny Boy 22 wants to see Paul Patrol. We do have the Patrol Dog himself adminning the chat right now, so that's pretty cool. See, I legit watched a match yesterday with Metadex that was over in like two to three turns. Oh, yeah. I mean, like... It used to happen a lot more than it happens now. In He's like, talking about Yu-Gi-Oh, I think. Oh, in Yu-Gi-Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, he said Duel, that's right. Like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to say, that used to happen in Pokemon, but that doesn't really happen in Pokemon it anymore. In... Yeah. It used to, back when, like, Tornadus and Mewtwo and Big Basics, and you could attack on the first turn. All right, and us to two. And me and do a supporter, bro. Get something good. Sycamore. Dude, Greninja's out here housing right now. Uh, not exactly what we bargained for here, but this is totally appropriate and also fine. No problems here. I think maybe the Coco could have been good for the DC, but... Oh, I was thinking uh, about that, and you talked me into Frogadier, man. I don't know. I wanted I wanted the full <laughs> greed play. I figure if we draw a supporter and then you start haste slashing again, then you're like... Goodbye, Artillery. Then you're, you're doing great. You could save this guy one more turn. You could save the Greninja one more turn. He's... 40? That's nothing. But then he can double his Water Shuriken next turn, probably. Hmm... Shh. Oh, go get those Greninjas. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're going. See if you can get them. Heads? 
tails. All right, we got one. That's fine. One we'll take man. the we'll take the singleton. And then I know I need to haste slash. I'm pretty sure. I think you do need to haste slash. I need to return. Oh, you need to return him. You think? I think I do. See how many waters you have in the he deck. You definitely get it next turn. Oh, I should look. Um, I have one. Uh, I think three in deck potentially. I actually think I like grabbing the remoraid there. To the computer. Oh, show cards. Oh. I think I like grabbing the remoraid here. No, he's because um, because then your opponent like won't knock out the won't. active. And if your opponent does knock out the active, gonna, they like double shriek. I'm not, not going to leave him. I'm going to haste slash. Okay. It's, I think I like it. Yeah. That's fine. I think I have to. And then what are you going to promote? Uh, probably a cocoa. I think promote the fresh cocoa. Then they can't they can't knock all this out without breaking the lock. Right. Okay. So yeah, I, I like that because they they can't knock out this this yeah they can't knock it all out without breaking the lock. Yeah, definitely that. That's good. And then haze slash, shuffle it in. All right, I'm cool with that. We're at an awkward amount of damage here. We are definitely getting locked up. We need to get another Greninja out into play for sure. But this is what Greninja does best. The other, this is literally Greninja versus Greninja. I think yeah, I'm, it just, is. I'm just realizing that. Uh, you just realizing <laughs> it. Uh, definitely just realizing that. What if, I mean, this is a situation where if we played our own uh, if we played our own Greninja, it would be super good if we played our own, you know, uh, Shadow Stitch, Shadow we did Stitch go Greninja. First. We did go first, so that would be pretty cool. And then obviously, so we're Shadow Stitching, and if they're just Shadow Stitching, then, you know, we're not really getting I don't think anywhere. I, I don't think I can win this. I mean, I don't know. What if they break the lock? They won't. They shouldn't. Hmm. That's a bad idea. They probably should. What if you top deck? I mean, if I top deck, If maybe, you top deck, you could definitely win. I still win. don't think... Um, if you top deck Sycamore, you could totally win. There's not enough. There's not enough energy in this deck, and I have to just have them. So, so whereas you can't like draw into I it. I think if you top deck a supporter here, you're I mean, yeah, totally cool. Deck, <laughs> yeah, obviously. So you could win, but I don't even know if I win if I top deck a supporter. I'm not in the greatest spot right now. Right. Squirtle Squad playmat. I actually, I want to make like a Sneasel Squad playmat. That's like one of my. What is a drying pan? That's a, a pun that Brock made in the original. Oh, story. is it? Oh, okay, I haven't seen all of the. Uh, I haven't seen all of the original anime, so I uh, I don't really know all the references. I've probably seen like the first five episodes when I was a kid, but I just didn't. I don't think I watched the channel that it was on. Was it on like Cartoon Network yeah, or? Yeah, so. yeah, I didn't watch Cartoon Network. I was a Nickelodeon kid, so I was like super into the cards growing up. But I, I was never a really Nickelodeon kid too, but I watched Pokemon religiously. Oh, did you? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I see, and yes. then is he gonna break the lock? It doesn't really matter at this point. He sh should not. He should not break the lock, but it, he might break the lock. You never know. I mean, it won't matter because he killed my Remoraid, so, but uh, right. he shouldn't, I think. He might. Moonlight, see? Mm -hmm. There goes the lock. Come on, abilities. Let's go. Now, abilities, if we just get a Sycamore, that would just be so insane. Come on. Come on, Sycamore. Let's go. Let's go. And oh, we'll take it. <laughs> we'll take it. <laughs> we will take it. Oh, yep. yeah. That's fine. Don't angry me. I don't have anything, Brody. All right. Um, so I think, yeah, e that's bad. Yep. Okay. Fast. Yep. It's fine. That's all we got, right? Yeah. I think like. Should have put oof. that DC on the freaking Coco. I know. Live and learn. Ooh. Live and don't listen to you. Live and don't listen to me. <laughs> I think if you had a water. Oh no! 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 Right. An <laughs> <laughs> no! Oh, it's over now. Oh, over, over. All right. Uh, no, abilities were not useful this turn, Riley. No, they were not. But uh, I don't know. Doing an extra 30 damage would have been pretty good, probably. Oh, the one turn I had a Lele in my hand, though, and he was yeah. just out of stitching, that would have been a different. Right. So, yeah, probably not the biggest turn for abilities, but uh, definitely definitely was a good play for him to break the lock there. And now we just got to, like, slowly watch Greninja just, like, it's okay. eat us alive. It's I'm fine. Gonna, I'm not even really watching. He's not exact. He's not. He's not impressing me that much. He's not, he's not impressing no, you. He's really not impressing me that much. This is doing whatever your Greninja deck does. He's doing it pretty good. Yep. Here we go. And Shadow Stitch. No, nope, doesn't even no, need he, Shadow he Stitch. Wants to take yeah, prizes here he's taking prizes. Yep. And he's just gonna do us in very slowly, <laughs> very painfully. All right, go get him, Tiger. All right, here we go. <laughs> and at oh Brooklyn Hill. There we go. That doesn't really help too much. Go get him, Tiger. Oh, another one. It's fine. At this point, it's got a 70 hit points. Just go for it. I don't yep, care. We're fine. And then, yeah, let's see. What can we do? Nothing. Ah, oh, a that there. Nice. That's a good hand. 
right. maybe next turn. Stop oh, angering he's me. He's not not happy with your end Stop. shenanigans. Stop angering me. The end would be much better if we had an artillery. I'm not life. doing anything. You're, there's no reason for him to be angry. No. How about the Zorak Decidueye next? My goodness, yeah, Zorak Decidueye. That deck we have not been playing that in a while. It just uh, I think it's just a little bit outclassed right now, especially since Malamar just has infinite damage output. It just can kind of overwhelm this pretty quickly. So, gonna end things up here with the double shuriken, and that is that. Let's uh, let's play something else. Natalie, you wanna toss a stick over here? Yeah. See if I can uh, see I'm what. I'm gonna let him we... do his thing. There we go. Oh yeah, it's game. There we go. Err, defeat. Oh no, Greninja. Sorry, Greninja. Looks like we're playing the worst Greninja deck today. Yeah, it seems so. <laughs> I think. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> I accidentally uh, put my screensaver on, so here we go. Back in action. All right. So up next, uh, let's see. We can play Snuggly Generator. Oh, yeah. We could play Zorak Lycanroc, Zorak Lucario, Zygarde. We played Zygarde already. Greninja, Greninja GX, uh, Empoleon. Shout out to Empoleon when that was almost a thing. Uh, Buzzrock, Buzzgar, Bulu. We should probably... Oh, remember when we were like super hype on Space Lion? Yeah, that was the thing, too. Uh, it loses to Buzzrock Let's really just play badly. Buzzrock. We're going in with Buzzrock. Let's go, Buzzrock. We are playing Buzzrock for the one time. Bulu. We got Bulu's, Malamar's. All right, so we got to play Bulu and Malamar here again before we end up going. So we're going to play Bulu and Malamar. Got to give Buzzrock one go here before, uh, before the end of the game. What's up, Trainer Winnie? How you doing? Apparently... We uh, we know Trainer Winnie here, so what's up, Trainer Winnie? Thank you for the love. All right, and we are going to go ahead and start Tapu Lele. Oh, yeah. And just go in with that uh, turn one max elixir and try to load as many energy on this buzzwool as we can. That's generally what you do. That is the way. Yeah, so Tapu Lele sometimes is a totally fine starter. I actually don't mind starting Tapu Lele and Buzzrock at all, especially, no, not the Beast Ring. Ugh. Uh, I actually don't mind it, you know, really at all. No, come on, man. <laughs> come on, man. It feels bad, man. All right, this is fine. Get rid of the Super Rod and the Beast Ring, why don't we? That's uh, no problem at all. I was going to say, if we don't get a basic energy attached with this turn, I'm going to be a little bit salty, but I can Rip deal it. with this. Yeah, oh, yeah. I mean, we got to hit. That's what I'm talking you about. You figure we'd seen so little fighting energy at that point that we had to hit something. Schmiancy. I think I'm just fine benching that. Diancy there, and then we're just going to pass to our opponent. I do have another flowstone in hand. If this active one gets field blowered, unfortunately, though, I don't have an energy with this Guzma. So if my opponent does, you know. The I, top deck, bro. Yeah, it's I fine. don't know. We need an energy to go with this Guzma here to get a turn to meaningful uh, knuckle impact. Yep, there comes the field blower. I know Malamar decks play tons of field blowers, so I kind of saw that coming. Now, we could have started the Buzzwool and then gone Tapu Lele turn one for a Cynthia or something to kind of save our resources. Oh, boy. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, busted. Okay. He's asking for uh, it. What do you think? Do you think I just like... You knocked that... No, you knocked out that Malamar, bro. You knocked out the Malamar? Yes. Absorption? Um, this see, seems rough. I would Sycamore and see if uh, you, yeah. see if you yeah, get you're right. a choice band. Okay. You, you're doing what? You're doing 180 and then it has... Yeah, so you just need a choice band. Need a choice band. Choice bando. Let's go. All right, that's a lot to ask here. We're just sycamoring. Oh, there it is. Easy. Nice. Easy mode. No problem. And then do you think, yeah, I probably am going to Ultra Ball Wii with the Guzma and the N for a Rock Ruff? Uh, yeah, yeah, or a Rock No, I, I kind of like the Guzma right now because I'm getting ready to Knuckle Impact. Uh, Rummerade would be good too, but I've got rid of my Super Rod. It's all a little bit sketchy, but I don't think that they can actually whoop up a meaningful attacker next turn. I'm willing to wager that they don't. So I think I'm going away with the N and away with the the fighting energy, the beast ring. Might just say we're only playing this game with one beast ring. That I think I like keeping all these other cards here. Mm, okay. Yep. Here we are. Okay, playing with one beast ring. That's fine. I think and it's either Lycan Rock we're going in with. Or we're going in and looking for a Remoraid. I think I Just like... Just in case they can respond with, like, Max Elixir and stuff. Yeah, a way that you can... sure. That's fine. So we're going to get a Rock Ruff 2. And then let's go in. And we accounted for happens. the resistance, right? Yes. Yeah, all right. Knuckle Impact. All right, get him. Get him gone. Get him out of here. Sweet. Sam Brown is watching from school. Where are you at, Sam Brown, that you are in school right now? So that's pretty cool stuff, but... 
We still got the beast energy. Where you at? We got beast energy. Yes, because we're playing the baby buzz. Yeah. So we're playing the baby buzz in this version. I'm pretty sure this is Riley's version. Riley said this is the same version, but I did not. I did not steal this from Riley. Just so happens that we were one card off. We were, we were two cards off. Yeah. Two cards. Okay. Uh, Riley had us half a DV, just two cards away from each other as far as our lists go. And then I was like, all right, well, the the baby buzz will actually seems pretty good. So I decided to throw okay. that in there. And then, you know, decided to throw the beast energy in there. And then we ended up being just like one card off. So Riley says, I'm a thief. You know I'm not a thief. No, I'm not. Josh, I'm jealous that your school ends tomorrow. My school does not. I've got another couple weeks left. So got a little bit longer here. Now, we do have Guzma again, so we can't gonna punish that back thing. to back this, which is really good. And then if I just slap an energy onto the Rock Ruff, that's like amazing. I think, what do we go? Oh, oh can it knock me yeah. out? Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh, what a rip getting this knockout. That is insane. Uh, it's actually totally fine. I'm gonna go get my baby Buzzwole and then knock out this Mew. Right. So we're going to do that. Uh, I could get the baby Buzzwole and knock out this Malamar. I think you have to knock out the I actually don't mind the Malamar knockout. What do you, I don't mm -hmm. know. What do you think? The Mew, I mean, the Mew gets the energy out of there. The Malamar, take out the Malamar. Then I'm like, kind of cool. This is also the turn that I could get. Yeah, I don't want a Guzma. I want to just knock out the Mew because then I want to play cards. I actually see if I can hit my Beast Ring. So that would be pretty spicy. Right. Let's get rid of the Guzma and I think actually the strong energy since I'm probably running a little low on basic fightings. Let's go get ourselves that baby buzz here since my opponent is at the mythical four prizes. That's pretty good. Let's go. What's up, Mr. Rayman? Thank you for the donation. Asking if we're going to Madison. Also, what do we think we of Greninja GX? You're awesome. Yes, we are going to Madison. I also think Greninja GX is super cool. I really like Greninja GX as a deck. I've been testing it a lot, trying to get it to work. And it is, uh, you know, it's been a pretty promising. I don't think it's like the worst deck. Still trying to figure all of the kinks out of it. So let's go in with that Buzzwole here. I don't think, I, we got one more turn where we could possibly I hit would, our Beast Ring. I would hold the Buzzwoles. I'm gonna hand hold hand. the Buzzwoles just in case they get something crazy with like Mew and Guzma and they just punish me. So yeah, okay. Harry Lau saying Greninja's not that good. It's not that good, but I mean, it's definitely fun and has a high skill cap. It definitely is a very complicated deck to play. Also, our list might not be perfect yet. So there could be some tweaking happening to the list. It's a brand new archetype. Uh, Hickory Handman, I would love to sign your playmat at Madison. Definitely would be willing to do that. And good night, Josh. Thank you for tuning in tonight. Appreciate it. I don't think that this Ultra Necrozma will be able to knock out my Buzzwole unless my opponent has a Beast Energy, right? Mm. If they have Beast Energy Psychic Recharge, then they'll be able to get it. If they don't, then they're just probably going to try and Hypnosis me this turn. That would be my guess. Yep. Looks like that's probably what they're I going for, which is very smart. Yeah. I think I probably Guzma so and knock out an Inkay, put myself at two prizes. Uh, I did wake up, though, so I just knock out the active. Yep. Yeah. So here we go. Yeah, put a down. We're gonna go do this. Get ourselves a buzzwall. I actually think I want to just attach the energy to the rock rough, right? Put my yeah. Yeah, it's because then I could GX. Yep. So we're gonna do that. Also slap our choice band here, and then just N. Yeah. Yeah. And try to draw and do a supporter here to try and end. You know, finish things up. I could have Guzma. I guess I could have Guzma the Necrozma there, but I wanted to set up my board a little bit better. Like I can finish this game off with a. Like and rock very easily. Yeah. Um, and I think this is right. I think this is correct as well. If I Guzma the, and I could have done the knockout with the choice band, and I could have actually gotten the knockout on that Ultra Necrozma. But then I put myself down to one prize, and I don't actually put myself, uh, I don't actually put myself in like, I put myself where I could get end and then just like lose though. So I don't really know. Um, you know, because I don't really have a very solid board position, and I put myself just to one prize remaining. I'm much more confident here just taking away from my opponent's board position and giving myself a space where I could just, like, totally uh, yeah, annihilate my opponent. Right. I think Guzma, you think Guzma was right? Yeah, I, for, I, yeah. I don't know. I think I like this better because, like, now I just have, like, a like a rock play ready and I could you just end the game. You could have attached to the, Mal attached to the rock off anyway and Guzma the same. I know, but I didn't have a supporter in hand. All I had was an N. So, like... Then I'm leaving my game-winning play up to an end, myself to one. Mm. 
That seems bad, right? Maybe. So I think Guzma to Ral- Malamar and Tesha Rockruff. But then, Riley, I'm still leaving myself with an end to two as my game no, you, winning I mean, play. He, did, he filled up his bench, so you do win with, with Lycan Rock. I would have won with Lycan Rock anyway, doing 180. Um, and then, you know, with the oh, Diancy, yeah. you know, 150, 180, 200. I would have done plenty of damage, so... Uh, could How many like rock you have in deck? Either one Both? could go. It's just one, I think. Yeah. yeah, I just have the one in deck, but I think I like this play a little bit better. How but... many Ultra Gold do you have left? Because we got Moon's Eclipse GX, so like... How many Ultra Gold do you have left? I don't know how many Ultra Gold I got left. I got maybe two? You got two. Okay. That's fine. 20 card deck. We're Gucci. We can get Octillery as well. Uh, let's see here. So we're going to max Elixir. First of all, let's check our deck for Brooklyn Hill. See what oh, we got going got, on. Oh, okay, you do. I got like a rock. Oh, yeah. Like, oh. Two Ultra Balls as well. Strong energy. We're cool here. So let's go get ourselves a Rock Ruff first. Slap that thing down. Then we are going to try and max Elixir probably to my Buzzwall. And I can win the game if I just attach this basic energy to Rock Ruff. So we're going to do that too. Let's get that basic energy here on the Buzzwall. Now I can also Beast Ring. So that's an option to win as well if I just... I no, he moon, uh, moons the if I beast ring and then bring, I mean, it doesn't matter. I hit the like a rock, yeah, I win. Like rock, yeah, so I uh, could do it either which way. All right, let's see what we got here. We did nice. get the like a rock, so we got game. Going to be able to bring up the a lay lay and nice. dangerous rogue GX for knockout. So good game, trainer Winnie there. And you guys can see how many different options there are at the end of a game, like even amongst like, you know very uh very skilled players like you know we're still not in agreement as to what the best route was there so that uh you know that just shows how complicated the pokemon trading card game is and how many different ways there are to navigate a matchup and how different players choose different routes um, in different scenarios and so on and so forth i mean breaking down the odds and percentages in that in that scenario there uh you know, would have been ridiculous and required a lot of number crunching and all that. So you kind of have to just go with like your gut as to what you think is right and what feels like gives you the best odds of winning a game. Even though, um, even though you know, we didn't exactly get to break it down and have an exact science about it. All right, let's play one more. I, uh, I'll play one with Bulu and then I'll throw it off to Natalie and let Natalie finish up one more game. We'll try one with Bulu. Okay. Getting a lot of Bulu requests here. Oh, Riley. Thanks, Riley. Appreciate it, bud. Um, love you too, Riley. Aw, thank you. Let's uh, go in with good old Bulu. I have no idea what this Bulu list is like. Okay, I'm just going to put that out there. I have uh, I have this not touched this Bulu from, list. Probably months old, bro. Uh, this Bulu list is probably a little bit old, but that's fine. Is there anything that we would have updated the Bulu list with in a new format? I'm pretty really sure Bulu so. is just the same old, same old stuff, so... Looks like we're playing against a Malamar deck. Let's see. Battle of the Energy Accelerators. What can we do here with our Bulu? Bulu boys. We got a Grubbin in the active. Gr starting Grubbin is just such a pain. Definitely not where we want to be, but that's that's totally cool. We'll start our little Grubbin here. Our big boy with the two retreat costs, unfortunately. Why does Grubbin have a two retreat, co retreat cost? He's thick. Is he thick? He, he weighs 9.7 pounds. Look how, look how slow he is, though. Imagine. He's a little wormy. Imagine a, wormy. a bug weighing <laughs> I'm 10 not annoyed. Pounds. I'm just just trying to see. This is yeah. how I how I focus on stuff. That's just and that's just how our face just looks. Just my face. Yeah, it's just <laughs> how my face looks. Yep. Uh, I know. I always look like like I'm staring down at my opponent when I'm playing cards too. It's uh -huh. just like trying to focus on the game. You would be annoyed if you had to play cards with Andrew as well. Yeah. <laughs> I do this all the time. It's really it doesn't get any it doesn't get it never it never gets old. Never gets easier, huh? He is a thick boy. Oh my gosh, yeah. That's a gold one. That is a Look gold at that one. Thing. It's, a, it's a nice gold one. Gold treasure. Dude, but Grubbin, though. Let's see. They often gather near places frequented by electric Pokemon in order to avoid being attacked by bird Pokemon. Oh, he gets picked uh -huh. off by Pidgeys. He gets eaten. See, but he hangs out with electric Pokemon. Yeah, uh, yeah. So, because bird Pokemon are weak to electric Pokemon. Thank so. you for telling me that. I didn't know. Oh my gosh. Look at uh, Brandon's comment there. That's that's not appropriate. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Uh, let's see. Jack's Arceum Prism Star. If you play Octillery. Oh, we could have put Arceum Prism Star in here. I think that's a little, you know, could be a little bit, um, could be a little bit inconsistent, though. I'm not sure that necessarily, you know, getting all those things out at the same time is super super viable all right let's see my opponent has got like uh not much going on but they can definitely knock out my grubbin so i'm not gonna let them do that 
Let's mm-hmm. just Ultra Ball away these things. Get an energy on a Bulu. I think I'm just going to go get my Bulu and slap an energy onto it. So that I'm not wasting energy here. Grubbin? Well, we're not going to waste a Grubbin. We're not going to. We got it. We just got to believe a little bit. So we okay. believe, we're believing, believing really hard you. right now. We're just believing super, super hard. That's yep. not good. That's not like good. really bad. Really bad. Yeah, yep. that's horrible. <laughs> this is why I don't play Bulu. All right, here we go. So... Your turn, my guy. I mean, yeah, I could have Ultra Balled for the... Okay, like probably should have Ultra Balled. But look at all this energy destruction here. This is not good. Now, in order to knock this thing out... You won't knock it out. My opponent needs to get an Ultra Necrozma and a Floatstone and a Psychic Energy. And then we'll easily dispose of my Ryle, If Riley can get here in about 15 minutes, he can play a game. But he lives two hours away, so it seems unlikely. All right, unlikely. Mysterious Treasure. Are we getting the Ultra Necrozma here? Are we going to see it? Oh, keep him away. No, 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 no. Bye, Grubbin. Oh, Grubbin is a goner. I'm feeling like Grubbin is, like, not not going to make it. I feel like every every list is playing forceful. So I don't think he could. I don't think he's going to live I don't think one. he's going to live through this one, guys. This is going to be a yes. Oh, oh! <laughs> All right. So, oh, this is also really, really bad, though. I feel like we just are still in a bad spot. <laughs> Uh, you play 200 like, recycler. It's fine. I got to just slap down all these guys and then just go in with, like, a... A Cynthia here. This is, uh, I'm not ditching them. And then I can't just like. You guys know what is a good Malamar? Or, uh, do you know what is Cynthia. a good Dawn Wings counter? A 1 1 Alolan Radicate. Oh my goodness. So <laughs> here we go. You'd be surprised how fast I could drive. Goodness, Riley. All right, here we go, Cynthia. Come on, give me another Grubbin at least. I all right, thank you. This is all I needed. Oh, this is not good. You energy, it's fine. You got energy recycler. This energy recycler does not help here. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> oh, I do not like this deck, Natalie. Oh, I don't no. either. I, that's why I won't play it. I'm oh, just leaving you no. to do that one. This seems brutal. Played it one okay. time. I was like, yeah, I'm not uh, never doing this one again. At least we have another one of these things. And I can blow something up next turn. So Hopefully. All righty then. Here we go. <laughs> All right. Unless my opponent you know, does the good old attach Guzma strategy, that would be bad. Ultra Ball for Grubbin. Yes, Dean, we did Ultra Ball for the Grubbin. But, I mean, if you take a gander at this hand here... Uh, yeah, we don't have a whole lot going on. No, I don't think we were playing the one charger bug. I think no, we're, we're not, but it won't matter right we're now. We're all in with rare candies right now. So where's the next regional you're going to? We're going to Madison for sure. We need to book that hotel. It's tricky. Hey, that's an awesome song. Love that song. We're on DMC. What's up? Riley's IQ is approximately four. Yeah, I don't know. Riley, what's your IQ? Who is crazy high? Hey, don't. Oh my gosh, we could be fine. Wow, look at this. Buffing out over here. Oh, yeah. We're good. We're totally ooh, good. Ooh, ooh, oh, ooh. no. I don't have knockout on him. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. Should have goose with the Lele. He, he has can, 190. You can smack him. It's, it's uh, fine. It's totally fine. Him. It's totally fine. It's totally fine. All right, guys, that was my fault. Put the, oh, we should have put the mule up. It's, this is my fault. Um, I think that I just, uh, yeah, I just tapped Wilderness for not enough. And, uh, yeah, we just. Uh, have, no. No, no, Nature's Judgment for not enough. You should have put the Mew up. Uh, yeah, but I didn't do that. Yeah. All right, Riley, I clicked the wrong one way too quick, all right? I just, I was, like, really anxious, and then I did it, and now we're here. So, any questions? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just, I acted too quickly, and then uh, I think that, yes, we're going to do 120, and no, we're not going to discard. Yep, so here, we're going to do that. This is just where we're at now, guys, all right? So, it's uh, sometimes you're playing... Uh, you know, sometimes you're playing, you're not paying attention to how much damage Ultra Necrozma have, how much hit points this thing has. Has 190. I just goosed it so fast. I was so excited. <laughs> so excited. F. Uh, I know. Here, I'll press F to pay my own respects. Here we go. Yep, there we go. Riley's IQ might be higher than Andrew's. Hey, watch watch your mouth, Victory Arceus. Moe's <laughs> uh, Greed Gym. Yeah. So when this play buffs out, my opponent ain't got the metal to knock me out. Then it's going to be Mahone's. He sent uh, a heart react, but does he have it? He doesn't have it. He ain't got nothing in his hand right he's now. He's baiting you. Oh, he's got a goose. Goose, but he didn't have it. Like I said, he ain't got nothing, bro. We are totally fine here. Yeah, but now you're, is he going to knock out the grubbin? Will he do it? He is going to do it. He is going to do it. That's I fine. I honestly like almost sticking that thing up there, honestly, with your dead hand. That's totally fine. Yep, we're Gucci. All right, here we go. Good. The Mew. Throw Mew, yes. Yes, good. and good here one. we go with the A Lele. All right. I think that here we do we play the energy recycler with three energy in discard pile. I feel uh, like I don't think so. I feel like we can now that this thing's got Don't you have one down already? Right? No, you didn't discard. I it didn't earlier. discard it. No, so I could you play could. it. That's probably fine. Yeah. Here, let's play. Yeah, let's play the Lele here. See how many energy are in my deck. 
Actually, no, I'm not going to energy recycle. I have I plenty of energy, I, and I, I, I want to draw into I, the combo. I would do it. Yeah. You would? I would do it. I would energy recycler. I agree with Riley. Huh? I would energy recycler. Don't end him. He's got a dead hand. Well, I can't Cynthia. Are you going to Lily? Sycamore. Sycamore? Energy recycler, then sycamore. Ah, that's fine. Fine, fine. All right, fine. Yeah, I don't... That's fine. <laughs> He's got a dead hand. Don't end him. He's, he'd be getting two cards. You're right. All right. Well, with the uh, with the sycamore, we definitely energy recycle. Yeah, that's what I was saying. But uh, it, with the Cynthia, I don't I don't think that I do because I think I would just I'm just like diluting my. Uh, let's see here. I think I attached the lightning. No. No, don't attach the lightning. I don't just, think I attach it at all. I think I rip it. Yep. Don't ever attach rip. the lightning. Here we go. You probably should have uh, strong charge first, but that's fine. I don't have it out. Oh, that's right. You don't. Yep. So, okay. All right. All right. Listen. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Uh, all right, so this is totally cool. Poke him. We're just going to go here. Poke him, horn attack him. Oh, he horn attack for yeah, knockout. Horn attack for Busted. knockout, yeah. Oh, that's so good. That's really, really good. All right, I love it. Maybe I should have attached that lightning there then, just knowing that I was getting the knockout no matter what. No, because horn attack takes a grass. Oh, you're right. Yeah. I, Hi. I know I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I was looking at encounter Horn. at encounters oh, energy yeah. cost, and I was like, yeah, I've encountered just a before. Colorless. How many times have I, how many times have you encountered? <laughs> So you guys are on the same page here. It's fine. I have my own way of doing things. Yeah, we know. <laughs> and it is sometimes successful. Why the name change, EVO? Because I wanted to, I and mean, I'm, I'm buying the channel off of Darium. So it's going to be me that owns the channel soon within the next few months. So obviously having Darium's name on it. Uh, also, uh, Darium doesn't really have any involvement with the channel. I do owe the channel all at my own place. And, you know, I use all my own supplies and all that. So it is uh, it is more or less my channel now. He kind of just, like, uh, you know, pays me to work on both channels right now. So that's kind of what's going on. And then uh -oh. eventually I'm going to buy the channel That's off not of good. Him. That's bad. What's up? Oh, what, is he going to take out my Bulu boy? Yes. That's totally fine. We have prepared for this. Yeah. We're totally okay. I'll be prepared for this. Uh, I'm going to energy drive Any him. Oh, yeah. With a choice band. With the Mew. Uh. I think um, we get there. No. Uh, Two, four, oh, six, nine. Drive. Oh, yeah. We totally yeah, get, there. Yeah, yeah, get there. Gucci. Gucci. Here goes Mew. Go, Mew. Go, Mew. Go, Mew. Go. All right. And then do we end? I think we end. You probably end. Now. Let's. Oh, yeah. Woo! Woo! We did it. Bulu. Yeah, who said Bulu is depressing? Bulu is exciting. I'm ready. Check this Depression. out. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. Here we go. All right. So we've got that guy. And then we are still going to go in. No, do we go in with the Mew? Use, use, uh, I think at this point, Mew. at this point, yeah, we're Mew. still going to use the Mew. That's fine. Um, Because if he... Uh, huh. Seems sketch, though. You don't have a grass in hand right now, anyway. I don't have so. a grass in hand. I feel like you go Mew, because, like... <sighs> I think I go Lele. Just do it with the Lele. He can't GX me. Yeah, I definitely do it with Lele. Make him take two knockouts. Yeah, okay. yeah. so let's strong charge here. Um, right, let's do lightning in the grass. Yep. And let's try. That's, that's what the strong charge is. <laughs> All right. Uh, two, four, six. So we actually only need two. And then we'll attach the. He doesn't really have anything. He did lay no. for Guzma. So. Yeah. So we'll put this and then end here, end. I think, is fine. Oh, uh, yeah. That or we put it on the no, Bulu. No, no. That's a waste. That seems like a waste. Yep. Yeah. So then we'll put the choice band here. Choice band out. Uh, Orangaroo here. Field blower, my opponent's got nothing, so let's just end. End my opponent to three. They ain't got nothing going on. We've got nest ball, a whole bunch of stuff we don't need anymore, so I think that we probably could just ultra ball that stuff away, but it's fine. Yeah, let's just you're retreat. right, Riley, but that's, it's, we'll, we'll do it. I mean, yes, I should have strong. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know, Riley, all right? I know. I know I know what I should have done. Backseat driver over here. All right. Uh, I see it. Mad. Don't be <laughs> no, mad I'm not mad. The wrong play. Obviously, the correct play is a strong charge. Yes, and then to put one of the grass here, double attached Knock lightning here. But uh, Smack we didn't do that, did Smack we? Em. Here we are. All right, we've gotten here by my own uh, flailing around, and we're gonna get to a victory with my own flailing around. Let's go. We hurt Riley's <laughs> Don't feelings. be mean to me, uh, Riley. Quit being a <laughs> quit being a Debbie Downer over there. <laughs> I'm ready. Depression. I'm ready. <laughs> All right, so we've got Lele in the active over here. We've got ourselves some plays. We can make some things happen. Are we going to make some moves? Cynthia. Oh, you ended the man into Cynthia. That's fine. He ain't got a knockout. He would have to have, like, Floatstone. He would need a very specific hand. 
Riley is fine. I just said that I loved you like 10 minutes ago, and you've already forgotten. Guess, go to the self esteem store, Riley. <laughs> Riley, it's okay. I've never been to the self esteem store either. <laughs> Uh, that really moistifies my bread. Wow, that's that's. Uh, I'm glad Jack's fucking one. I'm glad that, that that you're really getting your bread uh, moistified over here. That's good. Pat Vacon, what's up, Pat Vacon? Hey, shout out to Pat. Uh, Pat is uh, one of my Patreon subs, so that's awesome. And then I think Pat did either you or maybe one of your friends. Uh, I think top 32 Toronto, so that was super awesome. So shout out to you guys for having a good run Jackson in Jack. Toronto for Andrew sure. Andrew is a more accomplished player than me, but some some say that I am the brains right now. What are you talking about? Uh, he asked who was a better player in the chat. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. So, yes. Yes. Oh, Schmenergy Drive. Uh-huh. Let's see here. Um, Yeah, we don't... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're all, we're all very good, and we're all very accomplished players. I do a bit of regional No, speech. No need to, you know... <laughs> Get out the trophy <laughs> closet, okay? No yeah, need to I would lose the trophy battle. There's so no I'm not need, gonna. no need to consult the trophy closet over here because. Uh, you can knock it out with the mute. Yes, I can knock it out with the mute. That's do that. fine. I would also do that. And then let's see, what if they, uh, you know, they can't. I was gonna say GX doesn't only hits uh, the Necrozma GX only hits GXs, so they can't like win. No, that uh, that's too big brain. All right, and then I think that we just go. What are we Skyla? No, I think we just Sycamore. We don't need any of this stuff would, right now. Would you, would you even? Why? Why even Sycamore? Because I like want to win the game with a. I guess I need a Grass Energy. I actually no. As long as I Strong Sky Charge, I'm fine. Riley says Skyla for Band. I definitely Skyla. You're right. If we should have a Band, right? Yep, I definitely Skyla. A Bando. Because I could just Strong Charge next turn, and then I don't know if my Vika Volt gets knocked okay, out. Check then... your check your check your situation over here. Go to your energy. I do have a band. Check your energy. Okay, I have one, one grass. singleton grass. Okay, get a band. Bando. And then we're going to Ultra Ball away the Nest Ball and a Vega Volt. Oh, yep. Get out of here. Get out of here. Go, 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 shawty. All right. Tapu Bulu GX. Get him into my hand. Then we are going to retreat, probably just into the Mew here. And discard the grass. Done. And then we are going to, uh, yeah, knock out this guy with the uh, the good old nature's judgment. Um, now we could, I don't know, we could have GX this thing, right? No, there's no point in GXing. No. Yep. All right, nature's judgment. You Get rid of that. Choice band on it too. I want. Yep. Yep. Not worth it. Yes. Yeah, so let's discard. Very good. I have misclicked. Uh, I think two to All right, Riley thinks that he should have gotten rid of the two vehicle volt. I don't know. Like I'm probably know. right. He's probably right. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know, man. <laughs> You probably get rid of the two Vika Volt there. Probably. I don't know. I'm not really thinking too closely because, like, I'm also talking right now. So it's, like, hard for me to, like, yeah, talking, uh, and, talking, talking and, like, and, and thinking through the very, very minimal things. Let, and me, the let me handle things. the chat while you play. Uh, like, because then, like, the way to go. I, I like to, like, always keep a Vika Volt in deck. But, like, yeah, the Vika Volt is probably not going to matter at this point. Down. I don't have a grubbing down. I don't know. You never know what kind of wacky situations you're going to get yourself into. That seems I like to keep statistically a, unlikely. I like to keep a Vika Volt on deck. <laughs> I like to just... I Dang don't this. Know. Why don't you get your invite before you start talking about brainless? Yeah, yeah. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> I just, uh, wow, I wow, wow Natalie. Wow, <laughs> wow. Natalie just went in there on the... Uh, uh, Natalie just went in there on Dankus. All right, Moon's Eclipse GX. This I is love bad. Dankus. This is bad. I think I lose here. He just moves a I should have Skyled for a Guzma. You guys are bad. You guys what? misled me. He just moons a cliff GX. No, you're not bad, Dankus. You practically have it. Um. I should have Skyled for the Guzma. Mm. Riley, you led me astray. Why did I listen to you? All right. Yeah, I totally just lose here. Put the Lele up and see what happens. Oh, we definitely lose. We lost this game. Yes, yeah, so we had to Skyled for the Guzma last turn. This Check. is uh, not good. Let me see something huh. real quick. And dog, look. did you tell me? Let me take a look. Um, Riley, and you guys make fun of me. He's all got all four Guzma down. He's, he's got all four Guzma in the discard pile. Oh, sick. Okay, this is good. This You're is fine. good. This is fine, but it's also fine. not Things optimal. Things are fine, everybody. It's not optimal. <laughs> right. Things are fine. We should have done I this differently. I knew he was down at least three. All right, I know. Yeah. This is not optimal. Um, um, let's see. So we are going to then, uh, we'll just energy recycler then. Yes. And then Sycamore because we don't need any of this. Yeah. Bando. Um, so let's energy recycler, throw those things back into the deck. Yeah, Guzma like a fiend early game. Put it in more. Yeah. yeah. That. And then let's strong charge first. 
So we're going to strong charge one grass to the Bulu. And then we're also going to strong charge. He can't Guzma anymore. Put a, put a oh, did I just get to strong charge one? How come I didn't get two? Yeah. That was weird. Why didn't I get a strong charge twice? I don't know. Don't, don't, don't click done. Why can't I click on this? Okay. Anyways, let's take more. It's fine. I think I must have clicked there very oddly because I should have been able to. All right, you put the Orangaroo up or something. And then... Yeah, I'm going to retreat into the Grubbin probably. That's fine. And I just want to attach a grass here to the Grubbin. And then we're going to retreat into said Grubbin. Okay. And uh, yeah, it's your turn, my guy. All right. No point in really Ultra Balling here. And I could Ultra Ball away the Rare Candy. And the... Yeah, we're going to do that. Okay. Yeah, we're going to do that. Yeah. Let's get rid of these guys here. Just make my deck as thin as possible. And then, yep. And then... <laughs> Pokemon Catcher. Yep, yeah, and that's it. <laughs> Here comes Pokemon Catcher, Tim Melton. Oh, my gosh. That would be uh, insane. Pokemon Catcher is uh, is fun. Gosh, do you remember the game back? Like, Pokemon yes. Catcher for a while was just an auto hit. That was insane. <laughs> no one asked you. You tell him, Jonathan. <laughs> um. But uh, yes, Counter Catcher is a pretty cool card, and Pokemon Catcher is, uh, it was definitely a sweet card. I mean, for a while, it was just a totally busted card. Every card, every deck played like four of them. Yes, be nice my mods, Jonathan. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, don't, don't bully the mods. Don't, yeah, forget don't, don't bully the mods. We need the mods. Shout out to Riley for being an awesome mod all the time. Always an awesome mod. So If he gets a blower, we he are... could lose. Oh, no. How no, could no, I lose? No. How could I lose? 190. So he's what about got an Ultra Necrozma. He's probably going to put an Ultra Necrozma up or something. I, I could Guzma. I got oh, Guzma for game. Yeah. Good game. Oh, yeah. Pokemon catches were expensive. They were super expensive. And they uh, they only came like two in a box. And you had to buy these horrible boxes. What was the box that it came with? Emerging the set that it Powers. Came? Emerging Powers was like a horrible set. Emerging it was powers, so yeah. bad. All right. We got game here. We did it with Bulu. Finally. After some very sketchy plays there early on. We're going to bring out the Lele. I know exactly what to do with a Lele in the active. Yep, we're going to do this. We're going to tap Wilderness. No, 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 no. <laughs> Good no. H's judgment. We're going to discard, yes. I have misclicked on that discard so many times and had to cancel games because of it because I just did the wrong mm. thing at the wrong time. All right, so we got there with Bulu, boys and girls. All right, let's go ahead. Natalie's going to get one more game. Ninja, one more try. We're going to do one more with Greninja and then go to bed. Uh, and then we're going to go to bed. Bed. Bedtime. What time is it anyways? 10, 15. So, you're welcome, Dean. I saw a lot of requests for Bulu, so definitely wanted to give Bulu Whoa. a chance. Uh, Bulu was definitely some, you know, was some tough love. Thank you, Andrew Rogers, for the donation. Appreciate it. Really, really appreciate it. And we will be in Madison, so definitely make sure to say hey there. Uh, going to give Greninja GX one more shot. Let Riley play. Riley could play if he was here, but since he is not here, How's it going, uh, you Brian? guys will just have to check out Riley on his own yeah. stream. Go bother Riley on his own when stream. When he streams, yes. So, uh, so yeah, so that's uh, that's definitely a thing. And Young Pugga, that sounds like a great question for my AMA that I'm going to be doing this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> I suspect that I will uh, be forced to answer that question this weekend. <laughs> But who says you have to answer any questions? Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> any questions? Well, so is it an AMA? What's the what's the protocol with an AMA? Do you have do you not have to answer? You can, I mean, it's ask me anything, but you don't have to answer anything. <laughs> you can, you're probably gonna get a lot of lot of questions. It might be hard to keep up with everything. <laughs> Sounds like you planned this. Sounds like a great question for the this weekend. Sounds like you planned this stream so I couldn't play. You're right, Riley. Okay, so Kevin Baxter has the real uh, juice. Is <laughs> it's guy love? Don't compromise. It, it is an AMA. I mean, oh, all right. it's um, already. Um, what if I scoop up here? Uh, no, <laughs> wrong. I think you attached the rubber A to go for, so you what? have it in the discard like, for yeah, aqua patch. Yeah, uh -huh, okay. I like that. Yeah, scoop. Up. We don't exactly play any sort of. Uh, oh, oh, oh! That no, was it's almost. Not good. It was. Oh, it is good. But we I got timer ball. You're okay, good. You're good. You're good. I bro. All right, there's no way he's. Oh, I should retreat just in case he lay like sees me. Definitely retreat. Um, yep. Boom. Yes. F busted deck. Uh, Broken, filthy, busted deck. Broken, busted deck. Listen. Greninja is going to be awesome. I mean, all the haters are going to hate, but I'm a believer in the Greninja deck. I like it. I like it. I think it is definitely, it's got potential. <laughs> oh, Dankus. All right. Making moves out there, Dankus. I see you. 
So much luck involved. What do you think there's much luck involved with Greninja? Nitro Lightning. I think it's just big brain plays all the time. Nitro Lightning says he's looking to enter his first tournament, doesn't know how. Um, so you can look on Pokemon's event locator. If you Google Pokemon event locator, you type right. in like your address and it'll tell you like local tournaments and it also shows you like leagues that meet every week and you could just play for fun there too and get start getting into everything. Oh, let's go. Um, Give us one. One. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. So we get the Woo! third frog. Oh, yeah. Busted deck. Oh, this is broken. Look how good this is. We could knock out I'm Azurua. Knock out the Azurua. Just the active right away. Or what is the Sneasel doing on the bench? He's got 70 HP, though. Oh, my goodness. I think we knock out. I think we knock out one of the bench Azuruas, right? Sure. Let's because we kind of want to keep this thing. That or we. Yeah. Nope. Knocking out the bench. Yeah, I think knocking out the bench, yes. And then you're going to Octillery and you're going to get Scoop Up. We bought is a little DC. What do you think? Do you think probably just throw the DC on one of these bench guys? I don't have a DC. You mean or just throw the water on one of these bench guys, I think. Goodbye. Right? Unless you like, you, and you have to literally this. rip like, oh, Brooklyn Hill. So good. So filthy good. All right. Let's get, oh, we don't even have anything, huh? Mm, did, act a uh, bench. 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 Yep. <laughs> and then we probably go for, I don't know, if you have like scoop up, probably try to play it, but. Got a Sycamore, Field Blower, a Mewtwo. Mm -hmm. I think I actually don't mind like waiting on this hand in case they parallel city you or something. Um, and I would bench the Mewtwo though. Yeah. And then I think like you just wait on this hand because like what do you what do you want to do you know? Right. I'm probably gonna go in and knock out that Sneasel next. Hopefully. Like, right. Oh. So I think you wait here and then. The idea is if they Guzma knock out your Frogadier with the energy, that's like super annoying. You don't like that. But you can promote the Mewtwo and at least like poke it a little bit. Maybe hit a choice band and you're doing like an actually decent amount of damage with it. But then uh, if they do like just knock out the active, uh, then you could just stretcher it back in. If they play parallel, you have the field blower in your hand. So I definitely like the uh, like it, what's going on here. Uh, Riley, do you actually have a YouTube channel up yet? Or is it just your, uh... oh, Rematch Gaming, thank you so much for the generous donation. You, you are awesome, man. Glad you like the Greninja deck. I love the Greninja deck, too. I think it's definitely a lot of fun and has some potential. So, uh, you know, or it could just be relegated to meme status forever. But we are not getting Guzma this turn, so uh -oh, man. that is awesome. Full Art Mallow coming out He's here. Knocking out, a, uh, knocking out the Frogadier. He should be, at least with the Mallow. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then Sneasel, does the Sneasel do 50 damage times the amount of Pokemon in play that have abilities, your Pokemon in play? Yeah, I guess so. That is going to do a lot of damage to it. I'm so going to knock it out. Oh, he is going to Punish Island. He's going to Punish Island. Uh -huh. I'm about to snipe him. Oh, yeah. I'm going to so GX let's... him, bro. You're just going to GX I'm going to GX that Sneasel. Oh, Ultra. Uh, I think we Rescue Stretcher first, and then we uh, Abyssal Hand, right? Yeah. 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 Throw him back into the deck, yeah. Okay. And then you could Brooklyn Hill for one of them back. Uh-huh. Busted. Oh, that, that Sneasel's going to uh, GX Town. Oh, for sure. Yeah, I am GXing the Sneasel. Don't worry, oh, Riley. Yeah. That wasn't a joke. Oh, I know. Like, the, the Sneasel's got to go. Oh, yeah, he's going <laughs> to go. He's got to go. All right. Uh, awesome. Yeah, I don't think you feel blow your own Brooklet. No, I'm... You could. I could. I don't have anything I actually left. like it. Yeah, yeah, I'll get rid of it. Uh-huh. Yeah, and then let's uh, let's go. Um, you guys, I wasn't joking. Don't worry. I am going to knock that thing out. Oh, yeah. Yes, he's he's got to go. He has got... Oh, there we oh, go. Oh, I just ripped him. There we go. Busted. And then Put 30 on, on the on Oh yeah, yeah. Get him out of here. Yes, you're gonna double Zeru. Yeah. You're gonna double Greninja it. And then get rid of the choice band and the I'm just gonna and the Cynthia. Yak. I'm just gonna yeah. Oh, for sure. Double Greninja, busted deck, broken, busted deck. That is awesome. Filthy, disgusting deck. Filthy, broken, <laughs> disgusting. Uh, abhorrent honestly, deck. Abhorrent. <laughs> degenerate deck. <laughs> oh, Tapu Koko. Coco, Coco oh, man. Put him down. I'm gonna <laughs> Oh, he's going, don't worry. Yeah, yes, so good. You and guys, then, we have the sauce. Nobody listens. Aqua Patch. Oh, yeah, to the Greninja. Oh, yeah. That's where I like it. Yes, throw him there. Very good. Let's see, if you guys think of a cool gym name, what is Riley saying over there? If you guys think of a cool gym name, uh, I'll do it. Goodbye. Do Goodbye, Sha Sneasel. Shadowy Hunter. Get that Sneasel <laughs> out of here. Take him out of town, out of business. And now you're just in a great spot. This pleases me. Oh, this is very, very good. Now, unfortunately, we do just have just the one Frogadier next turn. 
So we are going to have a little bit of difficulty taking out a threat on your opponent's side of the I'm field, gonna... like if they bench another Sneasel. But at this point, you could just trade. You could just, you know, uh, haze I'm... slash. I'm going to haze slash, put them in. Put them in. Put up a Coco. Ex put up the Mewtwo. Up, uh, Can't Mewtwo. knock out the Mewtwo. Right? Yeah, but then I, would, I need to retreat him, though. That's I don't think problem. you want to get the Coco knocked out, though. So... I don't want to be stuck with Mewtwo if I can't, like, what if I, I guess I'd have, and then because I have a DC in hand. How many Floatstone are in this again? Zero. Oh, yeah. You four Super Scoop that. Up. Four Super Scoop Up. I'm not putting my bet on a flip. I think that you don't. There's two Coco in the deck. You're right. You're right. I'm not putting this on a flip. I'm All not, right. like. You probably I will the lose Coco. the game if I put the Mewtwo <laughs> up and can't retreat it. <laughs> I will just lose. I will just really lose. Like, I will send a ha-ha emoji at me, and I'll be like, you're right. <laughs> oh, my gosh. See, no, it's totally fine. Another Sneasel! You're totally fine. Yep. I don't like he's that. He's going to riotous beating this active Greninja. And you're going to deny him more prizes by Hay Slash. Throw him back in the deck. Amazing. Oh, for 60 only. If only we had a Guzma on us. Mm. Here's your opportunity. I'm not putting that Mewtwo up. Um... I think uh, you could super scoop up and then flying flip. I could flying flip. I don't mind the flying flip. I actually flip. don't mind that at all if you hit it. Yeah. Uh, we'll see what happens. Let's versus. Uh -huh. Oh, yep. Yeah. yeah, flying flip's really good. Put some damage on that Sneasel. Because you need three prizes to win anyway. Right. So, and then it gets another. Yeah, it's going to have to be I'm, one I'm of the Froakies. <laughs> I'm trying. And then that's that's really good. Pile up damage on the Sneasel. I'm 20 on the Froakie. Um, 20 or on the 20 what? On the, 20 on the season. Oh, for sure, and for then sure. Because then I can knock yeah. it out with it if he doesn't evolve it. Exactly. Um, and now your board's looking great as far as the snipe damage goes. Your hand is, like, stacked. This is everything you want. So right. this is perfect, yep. I think yeah. I just hold on to all this. Oh, for sure. I like it, yep. The Ultra Balls help you thin your hand down and get what you need when you want an Octillery later in the game. You don't want to just get rid When's of the... When's the AMA? Get rid of the Ultra Balls. Oh, and he's out. That's what I'm talking about. Awesome All right, we'll stuff. show off the list. Awesome stuff. Yeah, let's show off the list real quick um, just to show what we're working with. The AMA is going to be this weekend sometime. I'll announce it on Twitter, so if anybody wants to Saturday. check it out, it's probably going to be Saturday. And then also I'm going to be releasing my uh, my exclusive video to War Chortle Patreon subs uh, probably on Sunday. So just uh, have a nice like kind of Saturday, Sunday Thing there for the Patreon celebration, so that's going to be awesome. We might end up streaming again this weekend or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Definitely could see it. Got nothing going on, oh, so right, see Mahone. Do you eat Pokemon for breakfast, Marco? Yeah, that's going to be a no on the Pokemon for breakfast. No, nope, here's the list. But uh, <laughs> this is the list. Enjoy. Uh, and the thing is, this is like, this is just an iteration of it. The list is having like a lot of different yeah, variations we're going to, we're right now. Uh, obviously, if we want a list that has a little bit of a better chance of winning against Garbodor, you're playing like three field blowers. Uh, but the, honestly, the Garbodor, we have not been able to beat Garbodor with this yet. No. So it just feels one like that's not worth it. One game and they did, Drew. It's, yeah. like, it's like one in six versus it. It's It seems not worth it. So the one field blower seems fine. With the three Brooklet Hills, I'm playing one copy of Sycamore. The Sycamore has been in and out of we the deck. We, we had two field blower in the list that, and then we still weren't beating Garbodor. Right. We had three at one point too. Did you? Yeah. Oh. Aqua Patch have been in and out of the list. Uh, Timer Ball has been at three. Two is probably fine. Uh, but yeah, so that's that. Two. Mewtwo is really good. What two? Oh, I yeah. like three. Two. Bro. Two is cool. Three. You actually don't need three. You have it like more than you need, which is weirdly weird enough. But Rally says it is more than one in six. It's probably more like one in ten at this point. I don't know. Right. It is like more, it is like one in ten. One in thirteen. He we've, says. We've all just like lost best of three series like oh two. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it was like uh, you know, like I said, I kept joking. It was Humpty Dumpty. It's like let the horses try. It's my turn to try to lose to this deck. Yeah. Right, right. But uh, yeah, so we got more stuff coming this weekend. More stream action coming this weekend, which we are really excited about. Thank you all so much for everybody who joined the stream tonight. It has been an awesome time, and I'm stoked to be back here streaming again. Got more action coming up this weekend. If you're going to the Virginia Regional Championships, good luck. Let me know how you end up doing via Twitter or something like that. And watch out for Twitter. As always, I always announce when I'm going to be streaming over Twitter and stuff like that. So hope you all have a great night. Thank you all so much for watching. Peace.